Welcome, World of Warship gurus and fans out there. It is Admiral Revan reporting for duty and casting with alongside with 0060, the one 0060. He's looking forward to it. He's actually enjoying himself, getting ready for this. But viewers, welcome aboard. I'm Admiral Revan, Australian streamer and community contributor for World of Warships. And we are here on the lovely Asia server, Southeast Asia server. The best server there is in the community. So, welcome aboard for the season 14 for King of the Sea. And it is great to be here. So, it's going to be interesting today because we got a lot of tournaments back to back, and it's going to be a lot of fun. And it's going to be a very engaging experience for everyone here. So, definitely worthwhile your time. I'm sure you're going to be all enjoying it, like I will be as well, too. So, it's going to be interesting how we're going to play this out for this whole matches. There's a lot of matches back to back and it's going to be a, a few hours with a great close matches. We're expecting that today, but um, first off, big thanks to World of Warships, Wargaming, the King of the Sea team and for the people who have been putting this together, the referees, the educators and educants, everyone involved in this lovely King of the Sea tournament. Big shout out to everyone for you and definitely let's go ahead and head and have some fun today all right so what we're gonna do is that um if you haven't got yourself a king of the sea t-shirt i will show you this real quick to you what it looks like the king of sea t-shirt looks fantastic all right it was a very good t-shirt definitely go get it uh get one for yourself it's actually fantastic to get all right so it's pretty full on. Um, <laughs> it's pretty full on. So we, the tournament is actually due to start shortly in the next few minutes or so. So we're about to kick stuff and uh, get this uh, party started and we'll be with you shortly. Um, so definitely we're gonna bring in uh, the one to this conversation here. But yeah, he's uh, definitely uh, looking forward to starting it off here. So definitely go check him out. Uh, Ian. Are you ready uh, with me? You there, Ian? Yeah, mate. Yes, yeah. mate. Well, Ian, it's a great uh, first time adventure for you to be streaming first time for King of the Sea, eh? Uh, yes, it is, uh, Revan. And uh, <laughs> a, a, a bit of nervousness and uh, excitement all at the same time. So. <laughs> Well, mate, I'm sure you'll do well, and I'm, I think, you know, like, definitely it's a big, you know, great opportunity for you here, so thank you for co-streaming with me today. All right. Oh, thank you for co-streaming with me, buddy. Oh, Looking forward to it. No worries, mate. No worries. Okay, so we got a bit of an interesting event uh, starting up real soon here for the rooms. We're just waiting for notifications of when the, the games are going to be starting soon, so... We'll just wait and see. So folks, sit back, relax. Hashtag COTS is for the giveaway on my channel. I believe the 1060 has got the same keyword. Is that right? Yes, yes. Uh, hashtag COTS in uppercase. Remember, it is case sensitive. And if you do win, just send us an in-game Twitch and um, I'll uh, get the code straight out to you. That's not a problem. Yeah, no worries. And a uh, big shout out to all the people who have followed the channel. Big thanks to everyone for doing so. And uh, yeah, much appreciate for your love and support. Much appreciate all around. All right, so bear with us. Um, we're going to go to the Be Right Back screen and make sure we've got everything ready to go for our first stream battle for the night. Um, we're about to tell you shortly who it is and we'll let you know sure soon. So stay tuned.
we're about we're about to find out oh ian uh your camera fix up your discord by the way what what do you mean uh you are not showing on your camera well i don't oh, know why oh, oh, hang on hang on hang on that's fine i got you i got you i got you put it back on there you go all right, we're about to start off, folks. Uh, my apologies. Uh, we actually managed to do this under the map. The, the team is actually uh, on a map called Sleeping Giant. Uh, just a heads up, uh, double one. one. Uh, just the map is Sleeping Giant. Um, but uh, yes, it is AR versus DAB. Uh, folks, I mean, let, let's just cut the, the nutshell what was going on here. This is the map pool of what we've been thrown out here. This is what the variety of uh, the matches we'll be experiencing today with a whole heap of good maps here. Crash Zone Alpha, Tears of Desert, Sleeping Giant, Shattered, Sea of Fortune, North and Waters and North. Okay, so we've got a good variety of maps to choose from. Um, Ian, tell us uh, what do you think about these maps, mate? I mean, like, they're actually not bad at all. Just by looking at it, hey. Yeah, I've, I've actually played on most of them. <laughs> yeah, we all have, at least. Well, at least I've said several times, haven't one. <laughs> yeah, more than several times, I think, on, on, on most of those maps. Now, yeah. Shattered. The, the, um... Mm -hmm. Shattered. Yeah. Most times when I play on that, I am shattered. Because <laughs> <laughs> I end up... Loo I, I'm I, I'm dead within the first five minutes and I lose the game. Yeah, well, so, look, yeah. yeah, well, if you want a shattering effect, go to shattered. I mean, like, uh, yep. do, do it, just do it, you it, know. It's definitely a shattering experience playing on that map, but it'll be interesting to see um, how the teams set out their set their ships up. To, oh, um, we're going live and then a battle right now as we speak. Okay, Team AF versus DAB. Very good teams, folks. I mean, like, uh, this is actually a fun, engaging experience there. Um, definitely worthwhile checking out in this battle. And um, there you go. Um, okay, so it's going to be an interesting lineup on both sides here, folks. Um, ooh. I don't know what to say here, but there's a very interesting lineup on both sides here. What do you reckon, uh, Ian? It looks like a bit of a tight lineup on both sides. Yeah, interesting that they've gone with three DDs. Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, um, I, yeah. What, what about your side? Tell me what's happening on your side there. Right. <laughs> it's quite interesting. We've got a DD is basically separated, one heading to Alpha. One to Bravo and one to Charlie by the look of it. Yeah, that is very true. That is very true. So, what about your side, mate? Yeah, you know, it's um. Hmm. So we got the Delny and Yu Yang actually teaming up together, char uh, charging over to Charlie's side of this, and also we got the Gearing that's heading over to loosely towards A. But look at this very interesting tight knit cruisy lineup in the back here. Like the Venezia, the Conqueror, and the Stalingrad are working together as a team, pushing hard towards charlie i wonder what's their plan in this one i mean like it it's very in interesting to see how this plays out yeah well it's like uh my teammate um uh, which one have i got <laughs> yeah we've got the shimikaze making a straight dash for the bravo cat mm. we've got the delany making a straight run to the charlie cat Hmm. And as you can see, we have the Calbert making a straight run for the um, cap over there as well, for, for the Alpha cap. So maybe they're looking at getting the quick cap and then just taking a defensive line. Well, um, that's very true, yeah. And the Calbert is a fast indeed ship, with the, especially with the engine boost, way faster than the gearing. But uh, yeah. it's interesting that the gearing is accompanied by two cruisers, the Veski and Petro. Very good fire, rapid firing um, cruisers, especially they're very good with radar and hydroacoustics. Um, yeah. Well, and, this is interesting. Yeah, and they've got my best DD in the game, the Shimakaze. Yeah. I love the Shimakaze. It, it has a, a 5.6K detection. Uh, 12k torps 
It's not a gunboat, but as a torpedo boat, it is beautiful. Yeah, true that, true that. And a uh, bit of a, a quickly uh, mention. Oh, the Downey is getting hammered already over in Charlie. <laughs> Why isn't... What's happened? My live scene's not working. Oh? Yeah. Oh, now it's... Yeah, it's kicked in. Okay, no worries. So, Remember, five minute delay. Remember, five minute delay. Yeah. <laughs> We've got the Shimakaze, he's um, reversed into Bravo. the Bravo cap, yeah, which yeah. is a smart thing to do, mm -hmm. but the Kremlin has almost pegged him. Yeah, that's right. Knows exactly, where, just about exactly where he is. Mm -hmm. Let's see, over at, um, we'll shoot over to the Alpha cap and have a look over there, see what's happening over here. Yeah. Okay, we've got the Calbert and the uh, Des Moines in support. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the Calbert has been uh, spotted, so he's uh, hightailing it. Mm -hmm. Des Moines just take up the typical Des Moines position, up alongside an island, mm -hmm. off of that radar support. But yeah, there's not a lot of action over at Alpha not at the moment not with the Calbert um, having to be uh, pushed out by the gearing right, uh, the right. Nevesky and your Petropolo <laughs> so yeah 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 but well, this is actually quite interesting though and the Nevesky and the uh, Petro like one's kiting the other one is just like you know literally just tanking the corner there Gearing's like hugging the corner over the the one line. Yay, one line, go one line. Um, but you know, like it's interesting to see the Clebert actually firing torps at long range here. And you know, high team is not too bad on the gearing, to be honest with you. But look at over Charlie. They pushed back Charlie. Aya has pushed back Charlie. I, I like this push and having the yu yang just hanging in there with the hydro acoustics and they've done a great a great job over there but look at this um i'm actually feeling good about this this is actually a very good match uh, to start off with and um i'm i don't know about you ian but this could go either way yes i, I think the action is uh, definitely at charlie at the moment mm. You've, we've got uh, most of the, the aya team over there mm -hmm. um and they've secured the cap mm -hmm. and uh bravo's taken so the the fight now might be at Ch at alpha mm -hmm. you know these um the shimikaz he's fired his torps so's the delany but um let's have a look at if those torps will impact at all um oh that delany is looking in trouble yeah Oh, oh, look at those torps. Oh, <laughs> mate, those oh, torps. Mate, it could be the D Delany and the Yi Yang. Oh, the Delany's going to wear one. Oh, oh, oh and the, the Yi Yang's down. The Yi Yang's the Yang, down. Yang, that, mate, the, the, the action is definitely at Charlie at the moment. Yeah, look at this. This is a very hard push over here, and definitely DAB has taken the lead with a nice confirmed kill against Aya. Over at Charlie, yeah. so anything could happen here, and I can see this. Look, the Delny is actually on the DAB team, is slightly supported by the Shimakaze. A very tactical maneuver and change in here, so I have a feeling that anything could happen on both sides this time, at this point. But look at uh, the, Alpha, it looks really, really tight. It, it is, mate. Um, you, you've got Aya there, you've, uh, you've got the Noveski, the gearing. Petro, obviously with his 12k radar. Um, yeah, it looks like the uh, Des Moines taken a few hits. He's lost a bit of health there. Oh yeah, the, that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah, I see that. I, I, I'd say probably by a torpedo. I'd say he's still losing a bit of health, so mm -hmm. he, he could be having a bit of uh, whitewash going on in the lower decks. 
Fair enough. I mean, like, let's have a look over here, over to Charlie. Look at this. The Dally is getting hammered by everyone. Like, literally, everyone's focus firing on the Stalingrad's focus firing, the Dally is focus firing, the Shimakazi, the Moscow, the Kremlin is cross firing against the Venezia. So, a lot of torps are heading over here, over to Charlie. So, this is, could go either way, but wait a minute. Uh, we've got a Stalingrad. It is actually parked over at Bravo, supporting the Gremlin that's capturing the cap. Interesting tactic. A hmm. battleship capping. Okay, now there's something you do not see every day. No, this is true. I mean, that is... Like, that has got to be a very bold move. That is a very bold move for AI to actually push that hard in this case to see, uh, see how this plays out. So, Why? I wonder what's their plan behind this. Um, apparently my stream's paused. Oh, okay. Now it's good. Yeah. I don't know what happened there. No, 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 that's fine. That's fine. Maybe, oh. maybe with the uh, Kremlin, Cap and B caused a few gremlins in the system. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is true. They didn't let the shenanigans be real. That's for sure. Um, looks like the, um, at A, the Noveski and Petra working together, cross, doing cross-firing the tactics with HE on the Stalingrad. Oh, on look, the look, look, we've got Torps coming in on the Montana. Will, and uh, no, he's worn a Torp. Yeah, the that's... Montana has taken a tour. Well, that's very good. That's very good. That's uh, actually a little bad play from the gearing. Um, let's just see what's going on here. The Demoy is actually engaging on the Noveski. Noveski is kiting um, at this point. So he's playing it smart. Well, like, you know, showing its rear end towards the enemy. And is actually just kiting away. And probably with the ambition to lure it towards the Petro, if done correctly. But the Des Moines is hanging back, so at this point in time, anything can happen. But Montana is engaging and taking position on the Noveski. And the gearing has fired torps on the uh, Des Moines, but the Des Moines has sensed it and popped his radar. Look at over at Charlie Cap, it's got, actually got heated right now, so there's a Noveski um, Sorry, the Shimikaze has engaged a full swing against the Venezia. Venezia has dodged its torps beautifully. Um, but it is actually interesting that Dab has pushed hard and solidly taken Charlie. Now, what's going to happen at Bravo? Well, th there's no ships at Bravo. Yeah, Bravo is uncontested. Um, except, yeah. except that Colbert is like hanging back, doing nothing at the moment. Um, that's a you, very good question, though. You, you've got the uh, Kremlin. He's taken quite a bit of damage. Oh, he's yeah, lost absolutely. He, he's lost a lot of health. Mm -hmm. I, oh, now look, we've um, got the Delany. Uh, he's real yeah. gutsy. He's uh, going to cut through the, uh, the the islands here. Oh. So that'll give him that'll give him some shelter. Yes, but he. He's only got the Calbert probably only oh, about 4Ks away from him. Well, see, the, sh the Calbert as it is right now, it's reversing towards Bravo, okay? So anything could happen on that frontier and that side. However, if the Delny and the Gearing were to team up together and do a bit of a, like a hit and run tactic, like one does Torpin, the other one just comes in, does a Leroy attack to rush in and attack the cruisers, or the battleship in Montana, anything could happen. But wait, this is gonna be a very interesting battle on both sides here. So let me just have a look at Charlie, see how things are going. Uh, wait a minute, there's a big hit battle on the Venezia. Look at this, the Venezia is still hanging in there. Might take one tour. He's taking one tour. The, um, okay, we've got the Stalingrad is extremely low. Oh, the Dez, yes, the Dez. Oh, oh, oh yes. boy, come on! Oh, 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 oh. Wow, the, uh, this is great. Dez took a massive hit from the gearing torps. Yeah, that it's was... hanging in there and they're striking back very, very confidently as well too, I might add. And they're doing quite well. Even though they're behind in points right now at this stage of the battle, anything can turn the tide right now. And that's well, the more he can die in a second here. 
Well, that, that Des Moines is, is pretty... Sorry, but it's goodbye Des Moines. Yeah. Um, it, he's not going to uh, yeah. come back. And, and the there points we are reset. Yeah, points have reset. The, oh, Kremlin, look at this. Wait a minute. Shimakaze is literally Leroy Jenkins in, uh, right behind the Kremlin. Could this be a tactical ambush? Could be. We've got the Kremlins moving back into the Bravo car. Yep. Um, could this go either way? This could go either way. Yeah, yeah the, it, it's now. Yeah. You know, Got fired when HT. Oh! How the devil they blow! The, the, <laughs> wow! Wow, the what a comeback! <laughs> Well, this is, yeah, th th this is unbelievable. You know, from being down to basically really pushing hard, working as a team. It goes to show you people, if you work as a team, anything is achievable. That's right. And look at this. The, the, the Kremlins are going to do a bit of trade-off here over in Bravo. That's fair enough. Oh, oh, look at that. The two Kremlins decided to ram. Yep. Oh, there's a Torps going towards the Montana. Will this uh, take an out Torp? Maybe? Maybe? Yep. Um, no? Close, but no cigar. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you'll have to settle for a uh, rolly. Yeah, true that, true that. That's fair enough. But that's actually a not bad battle there. I mean, like, that's actually pretty damn good. I like that. That's actually very well played on both teams. It, um, it is. Now, I don't know where those um, Delany fired his torps at. There's not, there's no ships in that direction that, that, that his torps are heading. Yeah. But the mosque has lost a bit of health. Oh, that's a very interesting blow. Oh, ouch! Oh, ah, ow. that, oh I missed that one. Ah, that Mon man. Montana surely, surely did take a hitting from the Stalingrad. You, you know what? I thought, you know, like at the beginning, that Dad was actually going to take the upper hand other than the beginning of the match. I mean, like, Aya has definitely turned it around. That's actually very good to see, but. Two, consider two teams. One was playing aggressive, the other one was playing defensively. Feeling it out and see how the plan goes on both sides. And this is actually a very good comeback for both teams. It, it, it is. It's, um, well, at the moment, I don't know if, if, if one team can come back. Hmm. Well, you see, like, uh, my money is on both DAB and AR to get into the semi-finals at least, and uh, they both are very good teams. But um, <laughs> they have a good chance. Oh, these tops looking good on the gearing. Nah, this piston. So, yeah. Interesting gameplay. But the Moscow is actually getting focus fired on a long range by the Petro and the Conquer and the Stalingrad, and also the Venezia, so... Uh, Look, the uh, Calbert from uh, DAB is looking very sick. Yep, he's about to go down here and he and, just got taken out. And there goes, yeah, there goes the Calbert. And the Calbert has been taken out. And uh, that is uh, a big win uh, to uh, Aya in this case. Congratulations to AR. Uh, well, AR. Congratulations, and uh, definitely, you know, good on you. <laughs> yes, it, it, it was it was hard fought. Yes, it, it was very well fought. I mean, like, uh, that was actually a very damn good match all around. I really am very impressed um, how both team, teams have, you know, played that out on there. And um, it's actually very well done. But, uh, yeah, folks, I mean, like, it's uh, definitely good to... See this sort of matches going on here, but um, definitely well worth it. So we got our next match uh, coming up right now, which, by the way, um, let me just uh, show it to you here, I believe. And what about the ship bands, uh, Raven? Yeah, it's interesting to have a look at the ship bands every so often as well. It's um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true that, true that. 
but yes no i actually find it amusing to see how that goes at the moment at the stage but i'm trying to see the next map okay so next map is actually very interesting um sea of fortune they've chosen sea of fortune at this moment so it could go either way mm. but yeah but yeah, folks, I mean, like, these are the prices that are going on for King of the Sea for 2022. Uh, for Asia server, uh, definitely a good price of rewards there. But at the same time, that um, big, you know, kudos um, to Wargaming and also everything that's happening here. But yeah, it's very nice at this stage. <laughs> So what are your thoughts about the upcoming match there, Ian? Um, yeah, Northern, what was the map again? Uh, sea of Fortune. You, that will also be an interesting game. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm not, not too sure what, what, what to, to think of that. Yeah. Well, I'll have to wait until I see the their lineups. Okay. See what um, see what they've chosen. Obviously, um, a three destroyer combination mm -hmm. could work. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I I'll reserve my decision until okay. um. And, and, until that they've made their uh, ship choice. <laughs> yeah, this is true, mate. This is true. Now, how did, did you get the, re the the game back up? The replay? Uh, the replay or which one? Yeah, the one that you're showing on your screen now. Uh It's five minute delay, so anything could happen. Yeah. But that's okay. That's okay. Nevertheless, folks, I mean, like, while we're happening, while we're waiting for that to happen, I mean, like, uh, we're going to draw out the, um, the first giveaway for the night here, folks. I mean, like, uh, hashtag COTS. Um, go ahead, jump in. Make sure you get in the giveaway, go, folks. Make sure you get in. Um, while we're waiting, I mean, like, uh, we'll just wait for the next battle lineup to happen in a moment here. Um, but yes, uh, let the good times roll for both teams. But uh, hey, we'll be with you in a second here. Yeah, so that was actually very good, folks. I mean, like, that that uh, whole thing in that battle just then, it was actually very, very well played on both teams. And uh, definitely the next map we're seeing right now is actually Sea of Fortune. Now, Sea of Fortune, it is a very good map. Uh, very tactical, tactical uh, gameplay for this one. Anything could happen on both sides, definitely for sure. Um, definitely it is one of those maps, depending on the position of that, and uh, gain there it's all it's all gain there you know yeah yeah so all good yeah. okay it's interesting there it's interesting we'll see how it uh, pans out though but uh yes i mean the actually this is actually pretty interesting with the tournament last so far um everything is happening all over the place so it is actually actually 4:26 p.m. right now as we're talking, uh, and it's actually pretty intense all around. So definitely go check it out. <laughs> but yes, hey Lightning, it's good to see you and everyone else in the channel. A uh, big shout out to everyone who's watching the stream. Thank you for joining the ch uh, channel today and welcome uh, welcome aboard to this lovely stream for King of Sea Season 14 for Asia. So here we go. We're having fun there. 
So let the first giveaway go. So the first giveaway goes to three, two, one. Friends, uh, 007, uh, congratulations. You're the first winner of the giveaway. And also, Neptune and um, congratulations as well too. So Neptune and Trends, go ahead and message me on Twitch and we will give you your card. But yes. Okay, so congratulations Neptune and Trends for your first giveaway on the night of walking the sea all right so let's go ahead and start off another giveaway in a second here um hashtag hots uh next giveaway has started good luck good luck everyone be right back we'll begin ourselves ready for the next match shortly still AR versus um Dab at this stage because they I think it's the best of two I think it's something like that right now um just triple checking if that's the case but yeah it looks like uh, I'm triple checking here but if uh that is the case um one of the teams gets knocked out if we have a tiebreaker I want a tiebreaker because <laughs> I think they're fun don't get me wrong I love tiebreakers mate um that, that actually gets me off my seat in excitement man so yeah definitely tie breaks oh. are gonna be awesome so i've got time for a smoke haven't i take five um quickly do that but uh yeah um just have your headset with you and need to yell out for uh if we're back in battle <laughs> so <laughs> i mean like uh just sit back relax and you're fine you're fine just enjoy it mate. enjoy it <laughs> yeah I've, I've just got to remember that I've, I've had to open up the um stream helper so i can remember uh that the red team is dabbing yeah yeah but yeah. i'll get it yeah yeah, yeah yeah that's fine well we just started a battle right now Life. Okay. That was pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, it was. Okay, let's just see what this lineup. Wow, this is a lineup. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, mate. This is like, oh, 
Damn, dude. Montana, Kremlin, Des Moines, Moscow, Petro, Stalingrad, Kaber, Delny, and Yu Yang on the enemy team. Now, here's the thing for Aya. They come up swinging with the St. Vincent, Montana, Salem, Venezia, Petro, Gearing, two Kaber's, and Yu Yang. Wow! Two Yu Yang. Uh, Kelbears and a Yi Yang. Um, hmm. This, you know, big hard hitting gunboats. Yeah. Uh, supported by a, a little bit of radar. Although, when you look at. Um, hmm. Hold on, I've just got to check this side. Yeah, what do you got over there? Because, like, at the moment, I can see a lot of things going on over here. So. On my side to start off with, Aya has gone out swinging with the two, the three DDs of the Kaber, two Kabers, the Gearing, and also Salem, and the Vince, Vincent Petro pushing strongly at D. Okay, and then you got the Vincent Montana and Yuan going A. So, what is going on at the enemy team at the moment for Dad? Well, well, it, it, it's pretty simple. We've got the Delany straight run cap to, to to cap b right uh nothing in support at the moment hello we have got the kel bear uh <laughs> change direction let's see where he would possibly head uh, he might be going up the center of um towards a and c cap do a bit of spotting up there and then over further the DAB, we've, well, we've got the Yi Yang that's just heading. He's going to head out wide. Yeah. Now, that's an interesting play up against um, two Calbears and a Gearing. Yes. So, he is playing it quite smart, but there's Torps headed his way already, which he'll miss anyway. Yi Yang's got a nice, fast uh, motor in him. Mm -hmm. But I tell you what, there's a whole he heap of torps coming again. There's another 15 torps headed his way. Well, just by looking at it over here, AI has come on swinging with a lot of torps that are turning towards the Yu Yang. And this, oh my goodness, will this Yu Yang on the DAB get hit? Maybe no, not. No, whoa, no. torps coming oh, back. Well, hold on, there's still some more torps to come in yet that he may not have seen. Oh, yeah. he's reversing up. He's reversing up. Oh, oh it's he's as gonna close. wear one. Oh. He, yes, he, he got one. He caught so one. That, yeah, that was a gutsy move by uh, Aya to send all those torps. Yep. At one lonely DD, but yeah. it proved, yeah, uh, it was worth its wear. He's down now half his health. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. And this is actually pretty interesting to see how both sides are playing out at the moment. But look at this over here, over towards A cap. Now, look at this. There's a big swing um, for the Yu Yang and Venezia far side towards the one line at the moment. And they're actually just kiting over here against the, the Delny at this point, at this moment. But there's not much action happening there except those Torps going that way towards the Venezia right now at the stage. But the Torps are almost hit the St. Vincent, but they missed him. Um, but here's the thing. D-Cap is held in place by AR, but there's a lot of Torps all over the place in all directions. And these Torps in between these islands over D and C, someone might get hit. Maybe. It, it, it's possible. You've got the Petro, the uh, Calibre, and both Calibres over there. Yep, and oh, well, there's Hydra Goose has been kicked in from the Petro, and the Calibre has swung hard oh, away from them. So, very good, very good. Yep, and, and DAB secured the C cap, so... Mm -hmm. And the B cap, B B cap, I think it will be will stay uncontested. Yes. Um, so the fight, I reckon, will be for the C and D cap. It's actually interesting to see that uh, Dab is actually holding back and playing conservatively, but the Yu Yang on over at the far side of the nine ten line is gaining engaged and focus fight on right now um, over at 
the far side of D and it's oh 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 ouch Yu Yang is actually hit his energy boost and it's kiting away so he's definitely really really pushing hard right now yep so we don't have a lot of that oh, oh hold on they are, are contesting the sea cap oh yeah what's happening over here the Calbert believe it or not is um why oh, not he's now left the cap oh yes so th that was a bit of a scare for uh dab because mm -hmm. at the moment it's still anybody's game it is very very close yes well look over here at the the, the one line right now it looks like the yang is actually reversing is he yes reversing uh towards the delny at this stage and this corpse going towards him but at the same time that he is successfully dodging the delny torps at this moment um i'm looking at closely though because i can see those torps are coming pretty close and he's will done a the, good job there will the delny hit the yi yang that's a good question i mean like uh, anything could happen in this fight the vanessia is uh, like oh wait a minute the action is really heated up over a D. Uh, Kleber is actually engaging the Yang and Gearing and Salem are oh, throwing oh. each other. Uh, the Petro was safe. He was out of torpedo range. The Yang is getting focus fired on at the moment. And looks like the St. Vincent is held, hanging back at this stage. Torps are going in towards the Salem. And it looks like that um, at this point in time, the Yang has gone dark on their team right now okay now this is interesting Revan. Mm -hmm. now now that Aya have got three of the caps and have really pushed the timer in their favor yes dab have got no choice now but to push one of the caps well, the decision that they're going to have to make is which cap is going to be more beneficial to put well okay just by looking at that side of the story right now which uh, at this gameplay right now which would you push f forward right now um most of their ships are gathered around the sea cap so i would be inclined to um push the d you know they've got the des moines that's got the radar so if he positions himself right he can offer support um on both caps really Hmm. And then you've got um, the Calbert um, and the Yi Yang, and they've got the Stalingrad as well. So they could really put the D cap under pressure when it comes to radar and keeping um, Aya out of the cap. Well, that's right. And, you know, like in all seriousness, though, the way I think about it at this gameplay right now, that D cap is really heavily contested, but they have less ra radar right now. So anything can happen at this stage. Um, okay, okay. the Yi Yang's popped his radar. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, mind you, he's got the gearing and the Salem. Oh, um, Yi Yang's might be going down here. I think yeah. the Yi Yang's There you go, Yi Yang's Yi gone. <laughs> so, that, that's a and, and that's the first ship that, that's um, been sunk in this game so far. Yeah, exactly so right. That, that both teams have sort of learned from the, the last game, I think, not well, to um, overextend. That's right. And I think um, they were, like, game pushed uh, very hard to begin with. And, uh, folks, welcome aboard to the channel, and it's good to see you all as well, too. And um, for those who are just tuning in, but uh, yes, this is interesting to see how this is panning out on both sides here. Um, oh, okay, this is an interesting bit of play. Yeah. We've got uh, Aya's Yi Yang is, um, looks like reversing. Oh, really? Let's just zoom in. Let's see what he's doing. Whereabouts is it? Yes, he, he, the um, Yi Yang for uh, Aya is re going to reverse up to the cap. Now that's, that's actually very clever. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Now, oh, <laughs> the only ship that's close to him is 
obviously you've got the Delany, which is taking the hammering, and the Petro. Yeah. Uh, now the Petro pile off for DAB is perfectly like situated. He's yeah. covering both caps with his radar. Yeah, that's exactly right. And just by looking at it on both sides of the, the whole battle right now, um, I think uh, just by looking at it, they're playing it smart uh, for DAB and also um, for AIA. With DAB position of Petro where he is right now over the four line right there, uh, he has the perfect position to either move forward or reverse back and cover both Charlie and, uh, and also Delta at this stage. However, the Yu Yang has done the right thing by torping long range on the Petro right now. And there's torps going in towards the Yu Yang right now as well. So, hmm. Oh my god, the uh, DAB Calbert has bitten the dust. Where did he get. Where did he just get killed? Did you see it? Um, yeah, it's <laughs> halfway between B and C. And. Oh okay. my god, the, the, the Petro's just gone down to Torps. Oh wow, that's oh, unreal. What a, a turnaround. Yeah. This is unbelievable. Oh yeah, has really, really done a great job so far here. I mean, like, I cannot... It's actually, uh, as you said, like, DAB has hanged back a fair bit. Um, but I have to say, I mean, like, I was a bit confused about the, what was the plan. It's like they were planning to charge in or back i mean like we'll see and see well i mean like we'll give them a chance and see what happens but anything could happen well, well, well personally there's only like 20 odd seconds left in the game so hmm. th there's not a lot that dab are going to be able to do all they can try and do is take out some of ar's ships yeah true that but uh it's interesting to see how this pans out now um look at this over here and charlie it's like a bit of a crossfire a brawling fest going on but it uh, looks like that Aya has uh, won again and uh, definitely a big win uh, to them this time. Okay. Yes, con congratulations um, Aya, another solid victory. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that was actually a very, very solid win right there. I mean, like, uh, I, I don't know. And uh, hey, folks, welcome aboard. Um, it's good to see you all and thanks for the lovely follows and uh, joining into the channel. I'm actually uh, co-streaming with my co-caster, the 1060, who is actually uh, streaming right now. So feel free to drop by and say good day to him if you wish. Um, but uh, yes, we got the giveaways going on on both channels uh, for King of the Sea. So definitely go check him out. But hey, Ian, what do you think about that match? I thought it was actually a very, very good match. Well played. Yes, it was, mate. Uh, I uh, just proved to be too strong in that game um I, even though dab got a couple of caps to start with they didn't push um aya held back to to see where, where the gameplay was going to go uh and then pushed at the right time they yeah. had all of the none of their ships were at, really out of place they were all well well placed Mm -hmm. So they could their radar ships could cover their caps. Yeah, just congratulations on to a magnificent win on that one for AR. Yeah. What about you, right? What are your thoughts, mate? Well, to tell you the truth, I mean, like AR actually did a great job of um, just like hanging back um, at the beginning of the match. Um, but they the way they did it was that they said like, you know what, we're gonna push in hard over one side and devote majority of the resources to one side of the map the, the thing is that what got me was that the how they play with the venezia and also the uh Yu yang in the other corner there like they did just literally you know use that as a bit of a decoy <laughs> it was a very yeah. interesting tactic the, the the tactics that um that their caller came up with was absolutely spot on yeah. Um, yeah. and 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 you've got to give credit to the the uh, the callers of of the teams mm -hmm. you know they've got to make split second decisions which could ultimately win or lose the game for their side yes. so they're under a, a lot more pressure than 
the rest of his team. Yeah, exactly. You know, so, you know, top points to um, Aya's callers. Yeah, and def uh, it, def definitely a big shout out to both Aya and the DOB callers. I mean, like, I know it's very tough when you're actually doing um, clan battles as such, you know. Clan battles is another thing uh, that we find it is a bit tough and challenging uh, for especially getting ready for that uh, last minute, you know. Um, it is yes. very, very tough. It can be. I've called once and never again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the And that was in clan battles. And yes, it is. It. You've got to make, like I was saying, split-second decisions, mm. which could win or lose you the game. And you've got to try and not only make those decisions, you've also got to try and think, okay, what is the opposing commander thinking? Mm -hmm. Where, where's he going to send his ships? Yeah. Now, as a DD operator um, or main, mm. I know how to use a DD and pretty much where to place my DD to be most effective. Yeah, true that. Um, I'm but, in the middle of uh, double checking on the next match we'll be having, which is a very good one coming up soon in the next 10, 15 minutes. Yes, so that will be interesting. Yeah, so folks, we're going to take five. Um, so definitely stay tuned. Uh, we'll be getting ourselves very prepared for the next match. So hang tight. Um, before we go, I mean, like, uh, definitely big uh, kudos to get those, that shirt right there. <laughs> that King of the Sea t-shirt. you got to love it. It's great. Trust me, it's oh, worth it, man. Th th there's only one problem, Raven. What's that? You need to send me your King of the Sea shirt. Oh, come on, man. I mean, like, yeah, here we go. I mean, like, here, look, 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 look at this. It's like, you know, here, here's the King of Sea t shirt. I can't literally yeah. just go chuck it over the screen. Well, well, <laughs> we can always try. <laughs> okay, here. Maybe not. <laughs> no, oh, oh, look, it's sticking out of the wall. Climbing, <laughs> the teleportation didn't work. Ah. Oh technology yeah uh, well <laughs> well it actually worked out it didn't work out as planned folks sorry <laughs> yep I'll, I'll just have to wait until i knock the wall down and take it out all right folks we'll be right back and i'll see you shortly the next game okay see you shortly people
is a very interesting battle coming up. Okay, so you've been wondering what I'm talking about. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the biggest battle in history that is coming up is going to be a very interesting lineup uh, that we're weighing. So I'm going to show you here and Sleeping Giant. But go for me because we've been waiting for it all to line up here. But it is done, actually done, done. Vor versus Kashi. Yes, Vor versus Kashi. A big showdown. This is a good one. I mean, like, I've been looking forward to it. I, uh, yeah. And then taking it from here. So let's just um, get this all sword here. One second. I'll be with. Hang on one second, folks. I'll be with you in a minute, but uh, I'll tell you what's going to be happening next in a second here. Uh, sorry, Ian. Yeah, see the person named Vor Classic Noun? The room is called Classic Noun, no password. But yes, here we go. Anyway, um, folks, sorry about that. We're getting ourselves all organized here. But uh, yeah, definitely let the people know in chat in that you're a streamer on the room when you arrive but yeah yeah because it's actually um <laughs> a room mate <laughs> anyway 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 it hasn't entered me as spectator yeah yeah yeah. i know just take that take that ready thing off you don't need the ship there you go <laughs> cool Here awesome yeah. awesome all sorted all sorted Technical issues always happen. <laughs> okay. So, what do we? What screen do we have it on now? Okay, so at the moment, um, the map is called Sleeping Giant, and we're getting ourselves all ready to go here. So, folks, um, my apologies. Let's recap back to where we were. So, it's Vor versus Kashi, two very good teams. Okay, they have a very strong lineup um, going on here. Um, they're going to be getting their teams assembled here. Um, we're just waiting for the teams to be set assembled. So Avengers assemble. Yes um, Look in all seriousness though, uh, this is actually gonna be a very interesting battle I mean two very good teams and they definitely uh, have a great reputation on the Asian server So definitely uh, well worth it. Um, Ian, what's your thoughts about uh, this upcoming match coming up soon? Well Vor, what can I say? I when I'm playing the game. I see their name all over the place. Yeah, that's so, true. <laughs> they're they're um, a very strong team. Yes. So again, it would be interesting to see what they go with. Yeah, this is very true. This is very true. Um, we've been seeing a lot of DDs, so maybe Vor and Cashy will do the same thing. Yeah, you know, decide to have a strong DD force. Whether it be um, a combination of um, torpedo boats or mm. gunboats, so mm. it's going to be interesting to see. Yeah, exactly, mate. Exactly, and you know, uh, to be honest with you, I mean, like, uh, I have um, a lot of respect for both clans because I have seen them in action. They have played brilliantly on any time in the battlefield, whether it's in clan battles whether it is actually in rank, whether it's actually random battles. Um, look, I'll be honest with you. 
this is really i'm nervous about it at the same time i'm excited deep down because like they're very good teams to be uh, playing against i mean like in the past you know uh, previous tournaments that i've casted i have always loved and appreciated these clans i always have because like they have done a fantastic job uh, to get to where they are today so keep up the good work uh, for all the clans on asia server not just for not just cashy but to all clans we do appreciate you very very much it is we love your work we love what you're doing keep up the good work and we appreciate you very much that is so true all right oh, what's going on here my uh when i go to dual camera we've disappeared uh just make sure you got the right room oh you're there i still see you yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that, that, that's an important. We still see you. It's all good. All right, folks. Um, we're gonna take five. We're gonna stretch. Uh, get ourselves ready. Uh, giveaways are in, in progress right now. Hashtag cots for both the, the one double six zero and my community as well. So here, so definitely jump into giveaways. Good luck. We'll be with you shortly. Hey viewers, we are getting ourselves ready for Vor versus Kashi. Um, this is going to be a very, very tight nick match on both sides. Uh, two very good teams and very good clans. So this is actually going to be a very interesting battle on both sides here. We're actually just waiting uh, for confirmation when they're about to start. So we just want to verify everything is going to go well. So just bear with us. Uh, we're just getting it uh, assembled together. But yes, um, for the next giveaway, 
we'll be able to get that started shortly so just hang on one second and um bear with us because like we're gonna put this together in a moment here <laughs> okay so for the next giveaway uh bear with me because i am triple checking um the codes just to make sure we got plenty yep okay so the next one let's get the next giveaway three a two and one a dead horse underscore q o c q c sorry dead horse underscore q c message me on twitch congratulations um you have won the king of the sea um code so big shout out to you and um congratulations message me on twitch but and i'll give you your code for king of the sea all right folks the next uh, king of the sea code has officially just started um go ahead and good luck and enjoy um bear with us we're getting the team assembled just getting ourselves uh, assembled, assembled right now so just bear with us big shout out to everyone who has been following to the channel big thanks to everyone out there and also this is the map that i uh, picked for this battle sleeping giant um it's going to be an interesting engaging map where we go three teams uh for, sorry three points to capture on this map anything that could happen on either side so it's going to be pretty cool uh i think it's going to be a very fun and engaging here so definitely well worth it but this is the map pool that the king of the seed is happening for this year uh, as you can see that they got a bit of a variety of um different uh maps here crescent island alpha tears of desert sleeping giant shatter sea of fortune northern waters and also north great variety to choose from definitely for sure but um yes um we just double check in here um on the lineup but we're waiting uh for actually kashi and vor to get ourselves assembled here so just bear with us uh, momentarily but yeah look the tournament is actually going quite well uh definitely um uh, big you know shout out to everything that's going on here i mean like there's a lot of good you know um, events happening here the tournaments are going quite well uh for this year for 2022 uh, for king of c uh we also want to be a shout out do a quick shout out to the people who are running the joint and as well as war gaming and also uh the people who have put their hard work and effort into this and big shout out to all of you and we appreciate you very very much and thank you so much for what you've been doing as well too all right so just to recap i think we are actually going to get ourselves ready to go here momentarily so i'm going to bring in my code caster uh in um how are things going on your side i decide what do you think oh wait he's actually still doing his thing <laughs> that's okay we'll just wait for him <laughs> But look, now nah, in all seriousness, though, it's actually we got we got good two teams going on here, so anything could happen here. But uh, yes, uh, for the person who just won uh, not too long ago, make sure you have joined in. The, uh, make sure you message me on Twitch. I do. Uh, I will give you that code uh, shortly. So please uh, message me definitely for sure. Okay. Okay. Here we go. But uh, bear with me, I am getting ourselves ready to go. But um, look, you know, the match is about to start shortly in the next 10 minutes or so, I think. We'll soon see. Just hang tight. We'll be with you in a moment here.
so okay four kashi match um sleeping giant what do you think about this sleeping giant match uh, that's coming up what what are your thoughts when you look at this match well it, like i was saying raven yeah uh, i don't know a lot about kashi so i'll have to reserve my opinion oh that's uh, cool I'm, i mean like i was talking I'm, about uh in regarding to the um the map for the gameplay what do you think uh, that's the, gonna the, happen the map okay i'm just trying to remember sleeping giant i've, I've man i've played on so many maps over it's... the last three years <laughs> yes 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 um but i did say so once i see the map um it, it'll bring back either fond memories or uh not so good memories yes of but... course <laughs> So what about you? I, I know you you yeah uh, you've been playing a lot longer than what I have. So what are your thoughts on the sleeping giant map? Well, actually, it's actually going pretty good. Um, we're getting ourselves ready to battle here, so let's uh, get ourselves into the live scene ready to go here. But uh, I have to say that um, sleeping giant is actually a very very you know good lineup uh, for ambushing. Definitely good for ambushing. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely um, interesting to see how it all pans out for sure. <laughs> but um, yeah. I, I think that, you know, like when I look at these maps, um, it, it could go either way just by looking at it, man. Um, you know, I, I really enjoy playing this map, actually, in particularly for capturing all the places and stuff like that. So four is actually um, getting the teams finalized and they're about to start in a second here. Um, and... Looks like we're about to start in the next minute. But uh, look, anything can go happen right now. So, green light. Yes. Ooh, I just noticed that um, a, a couple of the players there, um, they're chopping and changing around a bit on the uh, war side. So, they haven't really made their mind up yet on how they're going to go. Yeah, look, I mean, like, uh, I think uh, just by looking at it, uh, Vor is actually pretty much um, they've got a, an interesting lineup uh, ever since, you know, for each of the King of the Sea but, uh, things. But, yeah, it's a... Uh, it's could go either way. <laughs> well, it can. Now, I just remembered what the uh, Sleeping Giant's like. Yes. Now... On the right side, or the left side of the map, that's a death trap for DDs. Mm hmm So if the cap is close around there, or even on the inside, the, the DD that does go in there, if it's a DD, yeah. is going to have to be very careful of, of which side he enters and exits from, because it is an extremely big death trap. It is. It is. Um, uh, so, and Vor, like you're saying, being a strong team, mm. they'll know that. So, it, it's going to be interesting. It will be. It will be for sure. I mean, like, at the moment at this stage, I mean, like, I have to say that, you know, like, um, both all these clans that we're seeing right now are playing this tournament at this stage, right at this moment. They are... Uh, practice these maps inside and out they have worked together collaboratively as a team you know learning the ins and outs of what you should be doing should not be doing when to strike when not to strike when to kite and things like that but now this is where it gets the, the biggest challenge of the callers the callers will have to call the shots always proactively on the set go um i have to say that you know um it is a bit uh strange you know like uh how it's happening though um with these you know these lineups but anything can happen that that is true um look, like we saw last game uh with aya uh did that big push at the last moment um so if Bohr does the same sort of thing How's the other team going to, you know, how's Koshi going to um, mm. respond? Are they going to kite away? Or are they going to turn about and do a Admiral Nelson straight at them? Yeah. 
Now, if they do a straight at them, yeah, would would Vore be prepared for that and just yeah. let's go head on? That's it. Yeah, and and make it a brawling game, not a strategy game. Well, that so, could play either way. I mean, like you know, anything can happen with the ships they cho chosen on both teams. So, yes. I have known Vore and Kashi have both played aggressively and passively. For different reasons and well i think we're about to start the battle here in a moment uh so folks will just stay with us here i mean like i think we're about to kick up in the battle in a moment here so here we go all right stand by we're about to start oh. all right here we go And so it begins. <laughs> well, well, look at that. Oh, wow. I, I was right. They're going to go with a heavy DD force, all gunboats. The, Wait yeah, a I'm, minute. Incomparable? Holy crap. Okay. This could be interesting. Yes. Um, <laughs> I, I I don't uh, I don't own the incompatible chip, so I don't know a lot about it. It hits like a truck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, well, give that, a, I'll give you that. It hits like a truck. <laughs> that that I do know that it does hit like a truck. I've I've been hit many times by it. Yeah, exactly. Um, look, um, well, look, this is going to be interesting. So, okay. Let's start off with Boar's uh, moving. Okay, so Boar is actually kicking off with the Yang, Maso, and Des Moines, and the St. Vincent followed behind it, going towards the Alpha Cap, which is actually pretty damn interesting to see what's going to happen there. Um, this is going to be a very, very tricky match, um, definitely to see and how this pla plays out for both teams. So anything can happen for sure. But you know what? This has got me buggered towards the bottom here. Look at this. The Mon Moskva is actually was going towards um, the Alpha, oh sorry, the Bravo Charlie line, but it has decided to reposition over towards Alpha. And now the Stalingrad, Gearing, and Noveski have decided to push up towards Charlie and Bravo. But look at your side. This is interesting. <laughs> Cashy, mate. Um... The Helen was going to head over towards the, the sea cap and then uh, just did a complete turnaround. Yeah. Um, uh, and look at that. Yeah. The, and look at that. They fired up inch boost as well, too. So. Hmm. Yeah. You've you've got. Um, so you've got just the Helen. Uh, he could go either way. He could go the A or B cap. So it, it it's undecided on, on, on where the uh, the Helen for uh, Cash is going to go. But look at the other side, mate. Their main force is all heading towards Charlie. Um, and I noticed, you know, Vore have split their side. Yeah, um, this is interesting. Boss, it, it is um, an interesting strategy. Stalingrad has decided to haul away from the, the guns of the, the enemy fleet of Akashi. They have noticed that he's going to be focused fired on right now, and he's bolting right now. Yep, you've got the uh, Des Moines shooting at him. Uh, the um, One of the Shermans was shooting at him. Uh, okay, Des Moines you're on the uh, war side has just popped his radar. Hmm. So that's going to pretty much keep um Cashy's uh Helen um away from the cap mm. for a little while. Uh you've got the Colbert over there as well. They've both got their speed boosts on. Yep. Uh yeah, so Oh, Torps heading out towards the gearing on your side. Okay, now we've got mm -hmm. Cashy uh a cap in the C cap. Yep. Um Okay, the Noveski's just hit his radar, so... Yeah, so... I don't, 
Alpha is actually being taken to force by Vor. Vor has said, okay, we have spotted majority of the fleet over at sea. So now they decided to bring out, you know, everything quickly to flank and outmaneuver over at Bravo. But this is interesting because the Colbert and the Howland are, and the Kashi team are actually lurking in the background there. But look at this. Um, I can see the Kashi are actually playing very aggressively towards sea. But they, at the same time, they haven't really charged in either as well. Forest Germs are getting smacked at the moment, left, right, and center. And Nevesky is hanging back. Gearing did the right thing by smoking his teammate of Nevesky, uh, reducing the visibility, which is pretty good. Um, the Hydroacoustics have been kicked in on Nevesky, and the Nevesky is kiting away at this stage. So, yeah. what's going to happen here? Ooh, there's a bit of action in Bravo. Look at that. Demoy is broadside to Namaso, Moskva, and Demoy. Yeah, well, you've also got the, uh, the, the VOR, the, uh, like you said, the Moskva, the Marso, uh, their Des Moines, all concentrating on the Des Moines from, uh, the, from Kashi. Kashi. So. Kashi. <laughs> wow. Wow. The St. Vincent for Via for Vor has been taking a pounding in the background. Yeah, I'm just looking for him at the moment. I okay, I see him. Oh, he's actually getting yeah, he's, smacked. Yeah, uh, he's over at F1. Um, he is getting focus fired. Yeah. Uh, by the 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 uh, oh, the Colbert. What can I say? A fire starting <laughs> a fire starting ship. Um, that Colbert, St. Vincent's yeah. it is absolutely been hammered yeah Colbert is a very deadly ship mate I mean like uh, I don't own one but it'll be interesting to see what the Colbert is gonna do so let's just see uh, we've now got the uh, Des Moines from Boers shooting at the Colbert and he's hitting him really hard well the the Boers and Vincent is has no choice but to retreat well He's got torpedoes coming behind him as well, so it's going to be close. He might survive. Oh, will he? Will I? I oh, look, there goes the Des Moines from uh, so close. the Koshis. That is so close. He just yeah. nearly dodged it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, with, with what? Probably 2% health. He managed to, to uh, evade those torps. Yep, exactly. So he's here... St. Vincent's from Boar is healing up now, so that'll uh, give him a bit of breathing space. But look at this radar, mate. Yeah. It's just covering all of the maps. And the good thing is that the Boar is actually aggressively pushed over at Alpha and Bravo and literally have the upper hand. But Kashi is just bottlenecked um, over uh, um, in the corner over here. Uh, at uh, Charlie here, so let's just see what's going on. Name the one. Turns yeah, they've got, Charlie. they've still got uh, Kashi. You've still got the bulk of their fleet over there. Um, let's have a look. Uh, oh, their Helen for Kashi is just about dead. The um, Des Moines has parked himself right in the middle of those two islands, so <laughs> he's pretty safe from just about everything. Yeah, no worries. But this is actually interesting, though, to see how this uh, pans out. The Howland is actually literally getting brutally smashed. All those torps. Hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It, what? It, is those uh, torps? Maybe. Maybe not. No. Close, but no. <laughs> good try. Very good try. That was yeah, very well done. Kashi's Moskva's taken a pounding. He's lost a lot of health as well. Yeah, they're you know, actually so falling back now. The Montana on Vor is actually getting focused fired by the two Forest Shermans and the War Sister. Uh, incomparable as well. But yeah, that is actually very interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm s sorry, people, but for some reason, my um, everything's not working quite 100%. I'll have to check it all out later. 
Wow, that's interesting though. Oh, make sure that the... Uh... Yeah, it's all good now. Oh, okay. Alright, we've got uh, Torp from the Halland. Mm -hmm. I don't know where his Torps are, but the... Um... Let's have a look over here. The, the... There's a bit of a, a fight going on over here at the uh, Alpha Cap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually interesting though to see how this really pans out though. Oh, St. Vincent's getting, getting smacked on. Yeah, he, he avoided those torps pretty well. So, uh, there's more torps heading to uh, the St. Vincent's from Cashy's, from the, the Yi Yang, from Vor's Yi Yang. Yep. And I tell you what, they're looking good. Yep. Oh, let's zoom in on this one. Oh, will he? Yes. He'll dodge oh. in between. Oh. oh. We've got the Helen split coming around now. Oh, that could go either way. Oh. <laughs> he didn't slow speed and he didn't change his uh, direction either. Mm -hmm. So now Cashies have pushed Boar. Yeah, exactly. Out of the B cap. You know, they're, um, oh, they're, the they're now. Oh, missed just. <laughs> yeah. So the clock's been, you know, Vore's no longer getting points from the C, or the A cap. Yeah, yeah. But anything could happen here, though, because, like, I'm just, like, it, looking it, at it right now. It, Revan, it just did. Cashy's uh, Colbert just went down. Oh, wow. And so did their Helen. Oh, man. So, <laughs> so Vore have been really, really aggressive. Yeah, exactly. Now, the, the St. Vincent has been focused fired uh, by the board's Yi Yang. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, this is interesting. All they've got to, all Vore have to do is just sit back and defend their two caps. Yeah, now, that's true. Now, we have got a big play coming out on the St. Vincent. Look at that. Mm hmm. And the St. Vincent just killed the St. Vincent. <laughs> yep, exactly right there. So, Vore have shown that they're going to play it aggressively. Yep. They're not going to sit back and and try and ambush. It's going to be all out. Now, because of uh, Cashy's ships all being destroyed over at the Ag Cap, that now leaves the Moskva... Marceau, the Des Moines, the Yi Yang, and the St. Vincent to outflank. Um, oh, there goes the Sherman. So, yep. yeah, there's four seconds left in the game. Yep, and literally, it uh, looks like Vore has just literally just smashed their way through that uh, just now. What a win. I mean, like, uh, that was a golden win. Uh, for war right there um, big smashing blow right there and um, definitely it was well worth it now uh, viewers I, I have to say that there was like some questions uh, going on about in regarding to the mods that was used on the actual stream uh, for the casting um, there is a whole bunch of um, information on there that we can uh, swing by and let you know so the mod is called Consumables Mod Monitor um, EY, and it's from, that's also in Aslay Mods, um, and also the um, the score timer is there as well. But there's also a few other things that uh, you can uh, use in there. But uh, yeah, definitely go check it out. It is actually a very very handy mod uh, to check it out there. So definitely um check it out i mean like it's very handy i mean like i like it so definitely check it out yourselves and have fun all right but uh am sorry um <laughs> that's all right mate. Great, great battle great battle round what do you think there oh mate vor just knew exactly what they wanted to do from the start and that was to be aggressive 
Mm -hmm. uh, and that's exactly how they played it aggressively. Yes. Um, so well done to Vor for a good win. Um, hopefully, uh, Kashi can come back next game and show Vor that they're not a walkover. That was just um, unfortunate on on uh, Kashi's side, mate. Vor was just too strong. Yeah, yeah. So what did you think? It was good, mate. It was good, mate. Um, sorry. But yeah, it's all good though. I mean, like, uh, it was actually very well played there. Um, we're just waiting for, uh, Vor the Vore, uh, team to set, that sets themselves out over there. But, uh, for the room and everything, it looks like they doing a swap over maybe. I'm not sure. I'm just watching it, um, at this stage. But anyway, while we're doing that, um, uh, definitely um it's actually pretty cool you know just to see how this and is playing out right now that they've gone with uh the map for four areas uh that is the sea of fortune if i'm not mistaken there yes i think it is as well yeah sea of fortune i mean like uh definitely you know like big uh kudos uh went to war right there um but uh yes the sea of fortune great map all around okay um this battle uh can turn the tide e either way <laughs> so it is actually pretty good um all around there uh when you see this sort of things but um when i think about sea of fortune i'm thinking soldier of fortune for some unknown reason <laughs> yeah all right but, yeah. um yes what's wrong in what's up Uh, might have to go AFK for a sec. Okay, go ahead and do that. Um, it's like taking five uh, in a way, so go for it. <laughs> yep. All right, folks. While that's uh, Ian is actually taking five and need to do something real quick, um, I am going to be having a look at um, talking about the prize pool and also the tournament and stuff like that in the way in the meantime. So, great uh what tournament all around so a lot of things are happening left right and center though but yes um anyway while that's happening um a lot of things are happening in this tournament and it could go either way uh i have to say that it's actually very fun and engaging uh to see that both teams had a great experience um kashi and vor have done a very good job overall so yeah definitely well worth it i'll be right back we'll take five and then we'll talk about it shortly about the upcoming battle
Okay, viewers, uh, we are right back into it. Um, getting in there, ready to go for round two for Kashi versus Vor. And um, I have to say, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, but uh, yeah, definitely. And a big shout out to everyone who's joining the channel. Lovely to see you all. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for the follows. Thanks for the hypes. Thanks for the emotes. Thanks for everything. <laughs> hey, look. Much appreciate. I mean, like, look, it's great to be part of the King of Sea for this year, uh, for 2022. And I'm hoping you're all having a wonderful time listening to us having fun co-casting with uh, the one 0060. He's brand new to streaming King of the Sea. And uh, again, a big shout out uh, and big thanks to, you know, the Ian for joining and co-casting with me. Uh, this is his first time co-casting. Uh, so definitely, you know, give him a bit of uh, love and appreciation, okay? But um, yeah, Ian, um, I have to say, it looks like uh, we've got a bit of an interesting lineup coming up right now for Sea of Fortune in a little, little bit uh, less than a minute now. Sea so, of Fortune, is it? Yeah, it looks like Sea of Fortune, mate. Um, it's definitely Sea of Fortune. Yeah, I can see that. It's definitely Sea of Fortune. But um, yeah. What are we talking about Sea of Fortune? I mean, like, anything could happen here um, in this battle, hey? Come well, on. it's it certainly can. It's um, open waters, bit, and then you've got massive amounts of um, uh, islands in the middle. So ideal for radar ships mm. and DDs to... Um, yeah. Ambush. Hmm, that's true. So, will Vor go again, and Koshis, will they both go again with a heavy DD force? You know what? This... You, you raise a fair point. Because, like, I could see it happening, but at the same time, anything could happen, though. Well, well, that's true. And, and let's face it, you look at the map, Two radar ships, um, say the Mosfa and the Stalingrad, placed in the strategically will cover. Uh, here we go. Yeah, we're go. live. We're live. Good luck, everybody. And good, yep, luck good, to, good luck to Vor and Kashi. Good luck. Let's see how we yes. go. Good luck. All right, so damn, I was not expecting uh, that. <laughs> well, Vor has gone with a heavy, like I said, Vor has gone with a heavy DD presence. Mm -hmm. I was expecting Vor to do that after yes. the last battle. Yes. Um, Kashi's, yeah, have, have, have got two um, gunboats, mm -hmm. and then. They've got a really good lineup. Plenty of DDs. Um, better watch their, the the radar. So they've got plenty of radar. So yeah. yeah, this is going to be an interesting lineup. And I agree with you there, uh, the one. I mean, like, let me just like look over Kashi's lineup over here first. So they got a daring Maso. Um, Two Marsos, I should say, in a Stalingrad. Uh, teamed up with uh, Gun and Leo, Marsale, and also the St. Vincent right, shortly right behind it. It's interesting that they have moved the Napoli and the Montana towards the B cap at this point. However, let's look over here very carefully. I've never had four. I have to say, this is a very interesting way how Vore has punched up this uh, push right now. Yu Yang, Ganaleo, St. Vincent, Marseille pushing together over at Alpha, whereas majority of the rest of the fleet is going to D. A very good split up, very even. And the reason why I say it's even is because you have two radar ships to cover over D and C, but at the same time you have good firepower and smoking capabilities to support one another there. However, when I'm thinking with the engine boost going on with the St. Vincent Masle and Yu Yang, the Gatalier, I don't know. 
I've had mixed feelings about it. It's good to attack the long range, but what's their plan with it? Well, you... look, looking at Kashis, they've got the Des Moines is heading to the island um, near the sea cap. So he'll take yeah. up a position there uh, for radar, but they're outnumbered two to uh, Is it Des Moines? three to two in in DDs. Don't you mean so the that... Des Moines of four or the Galileo on the Cashi? Um, yeah, Cashi's the green side. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Fair enough, fair enough, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's taken up a posse around the island, so. Mm -hmm. He's going to, where he is, he, he's going to be able to keep both D and C cap under radar. Yes. Now, Vor having um, three DDs, which are all going out on the one side. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's a good, personally, I don't know if that's a good move. Mm -hmm. Yes, they're going to have a lot of torpedoes heading towards the um, the Cashies gearing and Des Moines, yes. the, the other Des Moines. Yeah. Um, we've got the Napoli heading out wide. So, mm. Anything it, could happen here because, like, I'm just thinking... How this gameplay is going because like look the gun leo is uh cross firing against the uh, montana montana is being cross fired by at least two or three ships at the moment but this torpedo crossfire on the des moines and the gearing has me looking at it very very closely yeah it's um Ooh. even though they've they've, they've they've spent all of their their uh torpedoes from war not a single torpedo has hit anything so mm, mm, mm. was it a, a defensive move Probably. Or, a, or was it a ploy well this is where all our dds are yeah but if, if you have a look at the daring yes he's broken away and is heading into the delta cap mm -hmm. now yeah it, it's it's a hard play. Um, yeah. It's interesting, like, how they are playing this right now because the Daring is cross firing with the Masa sporting it against this Demoya Vor. Vor's gearing has repositioned himself to break off and engage with a Torp attack run. Now, there's a whole bunch of Torps going towards the Demoy. I don't see much action going on over towards Bravo or um, Charlie at this point because it's a bit of a standstill at this stage. Yeah, I'll shoot over to Bravo and have a look what's going on over here. Like, like you said, it is a bit of a standstill. Mm -hmm. um, the Napoli is taking a bit of a hounding from, let's see, we've got the uh, St. Vincent, the Marcel, the uh, Golden Lou and the Yi Yang. Mm -hmm. um, so that that Napoli could be the 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 first ship to to die. Yeah. Now there's torpedoes are heading his way, but I think he'll he'll miss the torpedoes. But he's still getting focused fired. So mm -hmm. maybe Koshis have learnt to keep their force pushed together, focus on on a ship, take that out because. Let's face it, strategically, if they take out the Napoli, that then leaves four of their ships to flank the um, the uh, Vor's team, yes. which then makes Vor uh, going to have to to fight. Oh, hold on. The Des Moines from... Um, Koshi is just taking a hammering. The gearing is actually kiting against these torpedoes right now uh, for Vor, and I think he successfully dodged them. Yep, looks good. Uh, yeah. As long as he doesn't overextend himself. Yeah. So, Koshi... Vor is green on my map, yeah. Yeah, on my, on my map, uh, okay. I've got green is Koshi.
yeah so viewers if you're wondering on my my stream it is so war is uh uh green uh my my side and red is cashy um opposite effect for the one double six so but uh this is interesting though just by watching this <laughs> yeah so there's a lot of talks going all over the place but no direct hits yet i mean the um montana from um koshi yeah being your koshi is being focused fired <laughs> Yeah, for Vore and uh, Kashi, um, Montana, they're both exchanging, you know, back and forth with each other. So, yep, that's interesting. Looks like the Montana on Kashi is focusing on the gun on Leo. The Vore's Montana is focusing fire on the Stalingrad and the Montana. And damn, those hits are solid. They are. Um, Vore's Montana is in a lot of trouble. Uh, actually, that's Kashi's Montana is actually in trouble. Well, yeah, you're Kashi, but it's on my stream, it's Vore. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I, th I think because we're co streaming, we've got a, a side each. Ah, oh, yeah, that's right, that's right, that's cool. Yeah. No, that's fine. Yeah. No, I mean, like, I'm actually a little bit confused when you say that, but it's okay. I mean, like, I'm here, I'm going, like, wait, 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 what? What's happened here? <laughs> we, we, we may have to coordinate ourselves on that one. And, uh, uh, oh, Montana uh, Vore is literally getting smashed. Oh, wow. That, that Montana is not going to be long. Incoming parabombs right now from Gandalio, from Kashi. Will he the, dodge it? The uh, boar's gan or gandolinia on boar side has taken a torp. Mm hmm. But look at this. Uh, the Ashi team no, has ooh. originally pushed back with the DDs working together side by side. The daring Massos of Pritchley and also the Maslay. They all actually got HE spamming. Look at that. HE deadly spamming all round. Ouch. That Montana's getting burnt down. He's really focusing fire on him. Now, th this is interesting because... Oh, Kashi's Montana's just got blown up. For the Yu Yang and the Sir Vincent. Okay. Yep. Now, Kashi is, is way ahead on um, health points. Points and time. So, have Kashi... Yeah, um change their strategy yes i do think they have because they've been actually Vore is actually more... ahead in points at the moment right now they got uh yeah. 592 and they're still pumping it out they're focusing on yeah. burning down that uh, the stalingrad and stalingrad is taken out from the cashy so anything could happen here now the question is there's look at bra if you look at charlie this is really intense you've got literally one two three four five ships bottleneck beside each other um can Vore regroup and cause some havoc on the uh, remaining ships there? Well, there's torpedoes going out. Oh, the Golden Blue just took a pounding <laughs> on Vore's side. Yeah, true that. And the, oh, Ooh, there goes the Marceau. There we and go, the Golden Leo. Golden, get Golden Leo. Back to back. Damn, that's a good comeback for Vore right there. Um, hang on a minute. Maso is Leroy Jenkins in towards this Des Moines. Can he do it? He's five tops. No, I don't think he's going to get any hits on him. Maybe. Oh, those tops looking good. Maybe one or two. Yeah. One. Three. Two. Three. Hmm. No, only two because it's a bank two. of five tops. So two tops on two the Des Moines. Two tops on Des Moines. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. And apparently Camo says put a hard P on Napoli. Yeah, okay. Well, thanks, Camo. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, no, in all seriousness though, I mean like it's actually a very good exchange of crossfire between both teams. But oh ouch did Marcelli smash the garden Leo <laughs> Yeah, but but he's gonna pay for it as well. Yeah. There he goes. There so he goes. 
the, the fight at the moment, it, it's um, very interesting. Yeah. Two ships say. left on um, Kashi's side, so. Yeah. That's unreal. Again, Vor has proven to be too strong in their focusing fire. Mm hmm. But they actually done very well to get to where they are right now. And it's just like, damn, man. That is great to see some good play all round from both teams. But uh, Kashi had a good, you know, strong defense to begin with. But uh, looks like Vor um, has uh, taken the upper hand, taken the lead. And they will be. Um, moving into the next uh, round for sure. So, yeah, definitely for sure. Uh, very good, well played for Vore right there. Very well played. We'll go to the dual cameras, eh, and have a chat about that game. That was actually very well played. Very well played. So, that was actually not bad at all. Uh, for both for Vore and Kashi. Um, great game, both teams. Well done. Um, yes. So I have to say that Vore actually played brilliantly at the beginning. What do you they, reckon? Ian? Yes, they did. Um, their strategy this game was a little different to the first game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you remember, in the first game, they they held back a little bit. That's right. And, and took a lot more of a, um, a passive stance. But straight off the bat in the second game, it was aggressive straight off. And I think that may have um, upset uh, Cashies a little bit. Yeah, it, it may have put them on the back foot. Yep. That's fair enough. I mean, like, uh, when I was looking at it, um, Kashi, when they first started, I was cheering them on and I was really excited about the way they started at the beginning with. And it looked like they had a good way of positioning their ships. They had the right idea, but Vor um, had a habit of, you know, luring them in. And then when they had the right moment to strike, they took them out one by one. But the thing is that Kashi did the right thing. With focusing fire on a battleship like the Montana at the beginning, uh, which it did very well. Um, and also how they did the flanking maneuver from where they were to get through to where they are was actually very well done as well. It it, it was. Um, Vore uh, uh, have proven again that they're a, a, always a strong contender in, in uh, King of the Seas. Yes. So... Hopefully we don't just see that all the time. It would be nice to see. Yeah, I, I like competitiveness, and it would be nice to see somebody um, kick Vore's team. Um, although the, the the matches are really exciting, it's like congrats, Bokako, by the way, and the yeah, giveaway. Yeah, all credit we'll as, as well right to Takashi. They put up a really good fight all the way to the end. But in the end, there can only be one victor, unfortunately. And Boar proved that, yeah, they're just a, a strong opponent. And folks, uh, join the next giveaway. You still there, Raven? Get going. So, yeah, I'll just like I had to quickly mention somebody who just won a giveaway. But, folks, yeah, start the next the next giveaway has started. Uh, hashtag COTS. Go ahead, jump in. Sorry about that, Ian. But, yeah, I know exactly what you're saying, by the way. The one. But, yeah. yeah. Very true. Now, that, that map again, what was that one? That was uh, Sea of Fortune, wasn't it? Sea of it? Fortune. But we're back to uh, Sleeping Giant now. Um, so. Sleeping Giant uh, is another uh, map that we're going to be coming back into in a second here, folks. Um, definitely uh, the next map, uh, next match is going to be with Vor. And it's going to be Vor versus IT or IT. <laughs> now, I've, I've got to ask you on, on, the, on that one. Oh, <laughs> okay. Right. We'll, we'll go be right when when we've gone uh, when we have our break i just got to ask you a question okay 
that's cool all right folks we're gonna take five um we're gonna stretch our legs so it's hashtag cots and the giveaway on both the ones channel and myself um mods go ahead and shout out the one double six o for me and then um, i'll be right back and uh, join the giveaway um we we got plenty of giveaway codes on both sides jump in um we'll be right back with you soon yep same here guys uh, jump into the giveaway
Okay, folks, we're back. Um, so it looks like um, Cork. Wow. Okay, I have to start again. Uh, four, <laughs> four versus IT is about to start here in a moment. Uh, so Sleeping Giant is the map. So we're about to get ourselves ready to go. I'm triple checking and making sure that we're all finalized, ready to go. Uh, we're not too far away in kickstarting this match in a moment here. So look, uh, big again, uh, big shout out to the one and who also known as ian as we know him um great job ian keep it up the good work buddy uh thanks for co-streaming with me tonight it's much pleasure uh for having you on board tonight as well oh i, I do greatly appreciate the uh, chance to uh broadcast this uh, magnificent event yeah it's a great event i mean like uh, king of the sea is a fantastic tournament uh that you know like we find it fun and engaging every year and i'm sure everyone out there would assure us uh, agree with me as saying so so remember asia is the best server <laughs> there there is and uh, i i can see my friends in eu and also north america goes like hey Revan, no 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 our server is better than yours uh, look in all seriousness though in all in all in all seriousness though folks the world of warships community is a fantastic community be who you are always have fun and enjoy yourselves and always enjoy playing the game have fun make friends and enjoy yourselves again big shout out to all the clans who are participating in this event and great job all around everybody and um, i want to say a big shout out to the mod team uh, thanks so much for helping out in this uh event for this coverage and everything also a uh, big shout out to the wargaming staff as well as the people involved with the king of the sea who are behind the scenes we love your work we really appreciate it very much for what you've been doing so keep up the good work and give all broadcasters a fr free tier 10 ship <laughs> If that ever happened, I will be eating the hat that I'm wearing. Well, yep. maybe not, but hey. I'll, I'll I'll try this again. I'll try this again. I mean, like, I got this uh, King of the Sea t-shirt, right? So I got this King of the Sea t-shirt. I can't literally throw it across the screen. Do you? Unfortunately, you can't grab it, so. <laughs> well, we tried that and it got stuck in the wall. Yeah, what what can I say? Well, it's actually got the very nice uh, logo on the back for World of Warships, which is pretty cool, you know. And yeah, it's got a very nice um, uh, logo on the side too, as well for King of the Sea. Very nice, very cla very classy, and the shirt is very comfy, folks. I mean, like if you haven't checked out the shirt, what it looks like, I will show it to you what it looks like. So the the shirt looks very nice. Okay, it's very comfy. It is very um, good for all weather conditions. I have to say, um, some people may say maybe not for winter. That's true. Um, but you know, like in all seriousness, though, it is all good though. Um, but yeah, it's a uh, very good though. Um, definitely, uh, it's very interesting though. Uh, for Jiminy Pateke, um, the Boar actually won the last game. Just letting you know. So yeah. Yes. Yeah, so so Vor again is proving to be a, a strong team. Um, and when you were saying thank you to everyone, how am I supposed to say thank you to? You left. You, you said them all. <laughs> uh, uh, did, you, did you want me to give you a script and I'll I'll do it for you? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, actually, no. I can always say thank you to my lovely wife, Margaret. For yes. being understanding and putting up with me for the last 13 months while I uh, build a community. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Well, look, you know, uh, you've done a lot, you know, for all of us here, mate, and you've done a great job. And uh, look, you know, um, I'm really glad you got a nice uh, game rig for yourself. That's awesome. And, you know, like, um, I'm really, really glad to see you having fun. And it's good to oh, see you enjoying yourself, mate. Mate, I always try and have fun. Life is too serious not to oh, have absolutely, a, in, yeah. in, enjoy life. You've got to have some fun. Absolutely. And as we say, the shenanigans are always just a real. Heads up, um, looks like we've got about to start the match here, folks. Um, so let's just uh, get ready. We're all uh, ready to go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Vor versus it. 
uh, uh, how you spell IT? It. Um, <laughs> how you spell it? It, IT. Well, anyway, that, that was interesting how we put it out there for that one there. But yeah. It's interesting. Oh, Sleeping Giant. Let's go. And look at that. It's another strong, super strong DD force. But wait a minute. This is good. This is tr intriguing. So, IT has gone out swinging with the Ohio, St. Vincent, Napoli, Venezia, two Moskvas, two Mikazi, Ragnar, Yu Yang. Very good mixture. However, if you look at Vor's lineup, you've got a Montana Kremlin. Montana and Kremlin, a very good tanky combo working side by side with the Des Moines, Minotaur. Moskva, Stalingrad, Gearing, Marso, and Yu Yang. Now let's just see how this positioning works on both teams. So at the moment, at this point in time and early in the match, it looks like that Vor has decided to fire up Intra Boost with Yu Yang and Marso going swinging towards out to the one line over towards Alpha Cap. Alongside, it has some interesting backup with a Moskva and Kremlin. And mm, okay, so we've got this. Stalingrad, Gearing, Minotaur, and Montana probably working towards the Charlie and Bravo. Let's see what's going on, on your side, Ian. What's happening in your way? Okay, this is interesting. We've got the Yi Yang and Marso uh, heading out towards the Alpha Cap. In support, we've got the Des Moines, the Kremlin, the Moskva, and then heading out to the Charlie Cap. Well, You've got the Gearing, Minotaur, Montana. Yep. Uh, the Stalingrad. Um, is going to park himself up an island. <laughs> now, now that's for the IT side. Okay. Now, for, for war, this is interesting. You look at this. They have done what they have done every other game so far they have split their force into three you've got the shimikaze the moskva the napoli and the ohio all heading out to the alpha cap you've got the ragnar well he's changed direction so maybe he hmm. was heading to the bravo cap but now um it looks like he's just going to stop there and back into the bravo cap and heading to the sea cap we have the yi yang the moskva the venencia and the saint vincent so again we can see vor splitting their team up sending half both sides of the map and one ship into the center Mm -hmm. So it will be interesting to see if um, it can um, counteract War's um, strategy. Yeah. I just had a look at it over towards Bravo for a second. So the Moskva is, you know, just got attacked by the Ohio just a moment ago. But this crossfire at long range, but it's a Vincent, is interesting and also the Moskva as well. But I'm curious to see what war is going to do because, okay, there's talks going on. Fair enough, you know. But I know that um, IT has really gone out swing with the talks and I can see that uh, war's done a great job by, you know, kiting and moving away from it. It's awesome. But, well, this is interesting to see how the Montana and the Stalingrad are working together on this Moskva over at Cap. Hmm. Torps all over the place, yes. though. Hmm. <laughs> As we say, it's Torp City at the moment. Wow, look at that. The Yu Yang has actually fired Torps from the IT team and they're actually going towards the Minotaur. Gearing's done the right thing by smoking his teammate. And I can see that Hydra Acoustics have kicked in. Intro Boost has kicked in. So, awesome. Yeah, it. this is... Um... A, a different style of play to the last teams up against uh, War. You know, you've got IT. Now, on the one 060 stream, War is red for me, and it's green for Admiral Raven. 
Whereas oh, IT. Oh, coming in towards Vore. And is he oh. going to survive in the Minotaur? Oh, it's so close. It's so close. He's no. He wore tour. one. He wore one so, tour. Minotaur IT's Minotaur has worn a tour. So we've got from IT the <laughs> Ragnar as um, tapping the B cap. Uh, IT has secured the C cap, I mean the, the A cap, and they've got a quite an interesting strategy there. Mm -hmm. They've sent um, a, a cruiser on both sides of the island mm -hmm. to the end of the island, both the uh, Mosfa and the Des Moines. Yeah. Now, they're both radar ships, so that pretty much covers both the A and B caps. So that's a good strategy by IT. Yeah, look at this though. The Yu Yang has literally um, thrown our torpedoes towards over the to Moskva and the Napoli. A very interesting gameplay that's happening right now. I'm watching this torp, see if this actually hits the Moskva. Is the Moskva gonna dodge them? Oh, hang on a minute. Maybe not. What? One, two, three, four, maybe four? Uh, the Moskva for the ball. One, no, two. Well yeah, Moskva for IT has taken two torpedoes. However, there's a lot of action going your way in over in Charlie. Check that out. There's a lot of things going on. Yeah, there. so I, I was just noticing that the Moskva from War just took uh, two torpedoes. Remember, we're opposite colors. So, yeah, it's interesting that there is a good battle there. Yes. Now, Okay, we've got quite a few ships on that side for war. Hmm. Now, is it worthwhile for IT to actually put? Yeah. Now, there's plenty of island coverage. Their gearing, okay, is um, would be going up against the Yi Yang and, and the Ragnar. Now, the Ragnar is a pretty darn hard hitting Destroy. CD. Yeah destroy it and so is the Yi Yang so I don't think the gearing would be able to outgun either of them not no. if he got focused fired on by them then you've got the Venantius pushing in now for uh, war mm -hmm. all these types well are closing in on this war DD and the gearing um, but he's gonna maybe dodge it maybe yeah yeah the gearing pretty good turning arc on it so yeah. I think he'll uh, miss those well enough He's done the right now, thing by smoking, and the Minotaur is, you know, shooting AP on that Yu Yang, which is actually very well done. The Sid Vincent on IT is hanging back. Um, Stalingrad is using that island as a shield, which is very well played. And it's actually very interesting to see how this plans out, man. Yeah. Um, Vor is pushing in really, really Ooh. well. Wow, that Marceau has um, that... really pushed hard over Bravo to try and snuff out that Ragnar. And that oh. Ragnar on IT is actually getting hammered. Uh, wait a minute, there's Torps going on the Yu Yang and Venezia. Could this be a de decisive blow to IT? Well, if he gets a double strike, yeah, it um, will definitely uh, hurt Vore. But no, the Yu Yang's... Uh, evaded them. Venantia's worn one torp and it looks like will he wear another? Oh no, he'll get out of those torps easy enough. Yeah, well, like I, I just had to look at it closely. Uh, it was actually that the Venetia on IT got taken with one torp actually. But hang on a minute, there's a whole bunch of torps going towards the Moskva. Um, no, just dodged them. He must have got hit hard. I just noticed his health pool went down a fair bit. He must have got hit by a tall or yeah. a, a citadel. Now, this is interesting. There's a battle going on, a good fight going on over at the A cap. We've got Vores have, have now pushed in to uh, start capping A. Actually, um, it's IT, <laughs> but um, I, uh, Vore is actually um, falling back. I know, I can see a bit of a strange tactic going on here. Like the Ohio yeah, but, for IT is pushing in towards those torpedoes. Yeah, yes. 
but for me, the red team is war and IT is green. Remember, we're yeah. opposite colours. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. So the Ohio is actually on war side. No, actually, on on there when you click tab, um, the Ohio is actually uh, on IT. <laughs> well, okay. What's going on here then? Uh, what is, what's happened in yours? If you click tab, what does Bravo team say for you? Uh, Ohio, St. Vincent. Yeah, that's, 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 that's Bravo team. That's, that's IT. Oh, ouch. The Ohio just got taken out by the Kremlin by Vore. <laughs> and why is it different on my broadcasting screen? It, it has Vore is red and yeah, IT is green. Uh, that's because that uh, it's on your your side of the map. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's all good, man. But uh, I, you had me thinking for a moment there. But no, bra Alpha Team is Vor. IT is um, the Bravo Team. Hence Alpha okay. Bravo. Alpha Bravo. But look at this. Uh, the higher on, on IT has been taken out. So is the Moskva. Uh, that was interesting to see how that went uh, down for them. Um, looks like that uh, IT Shimakaze is getting focus fight on by Vor, uh -oh. Yang and Des Moines. Well, look at that. Ohio, Ooh. St. Vincent, Moskva, Shimi, Shimakaze have all been taken out. Yep. I wonder if those Wall of Torps are going to get uh, to Napoli. No, they won't. The, the Napoli? Uh, no. He, he'll miss those anyway. Yep, but hang on a minute. I wonder, is there a possibility that that Marceau is going to flank that Moskva? Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? But let's just see what's happening over at Charlie Cap. The Ragnar is getting taken out by the Minotaur right now. Uh, which is... Damn! Some solid hits there. And there goes the IT Ragnar. Yes, so again, it's. <laughs> yeah, what can you say? Vore's just. Um... Dominating? <laughs> yeah. It's... Yeah. They did a great job. I mean, like, uh, both teams have done very well. At the beginning, I, I think that, you know, what uh, had IT had going for them was that they had Vore thinking and stretching thin their defenses, but Vore made a call and actually regrouped. So yes, it's yeah. a, that made a very good solid play for both sides there. Nice look at that radar. Very much overlapping each other. Oh that Maso might get the Moskva. Okay, so now Vor have all three caps. Yep. Come on, Maso. Leroy Jenkins. Jenkins. Wow, so, let's go, Vor. Like oh, the, oh, oh. That, that's it. That was a good battle right there. <laughs> what, 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 what can we say about what, that? What we can we the... say about that? Then, you know, like in all seriousness, I mean, we'll head back to the dual screen and then I'll yep. tell you this right now. What a match. <laughs> that, that again shows that war can on the spot totally adjust to the situation like you said it came in strong they had a a good strategy was to to um force war to separate their um hmm. th their their ships yeah and then once the the uh, caller for war realized that he said no nope, not falling for it yeah regroup and push that's it. And we, we see that all the time with Vor. Yep. That they work really well as a as a team. You know, hmm. again we see them split their force in half, one to the left flank, one to the right flank, and one down the guts. Yep, exactly right. And that is actually very well played all around, definitely for sure. Um let me just uh, do the giveaway real quick uh, for the, the person in chat. 
Um, the winner of this giveaway at the moment is Foxtrot 2. Um, enjoy. <laughs> Message me on Twitch, mate, and I'll give you a code for King of the Sea. Congratulations. Okay. okay. I've closed mine. Drawing entry. Okay. Oh, Rice Tazzle. Jump in the giveaway, Fox. Um, hashtag Fox you have been drawn now. again, my friend. Congratulations. I'll, um, are you in chat? Just say something, mate. Hi. Bye. Make sure, Fox, that they actually, um, <laughs> make sure, make sure you get in the giveaway on the 1060 because he's got codes as well, too. So more the merrier. Jump in. Uh, good luck, everybody, and have fun. Yeah. Quite quite an interesting um, event so far. Uh, we've seen war just hmm. wa trampling everyone, basically, which mm -hmm. is, is, is a shame in some 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 ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand that. I mean, like, it's uh, been uh, interesting how they both played it out at this point. I'm wondering what the next lineup is going to be for IT in this match uh, for the Sea of Fortune. So the Sea of Fortune match is gonna be another interesting one uh, remember see your fortune could go either way um folks if you just tuned in the channel just now um welcome aboard it's good to have you and yeah definitely sit back relax enjoy the stream and uh, we're co-casting with the one double oh six oh um definitely go give him a quick hello and uh, good luck in joining the giveaway as well uh what's your hashtag on your channel for your giveaway Hashtag is COTS. There you in, go, folks. Hashtag is COTS is, on the 10060 stream, as well as my own. So at least we're on the same page there. So definitely um, double the opportunity, double the chances. <laughs> Have fun. Have fun. And as I say, people, you must be in it to win it. That's right. you got to be in it to win it, folks. Uh, just like the lotto and everything else as well too. So make sure you get in there, okay? Well, yeah, but I'm I'm always joining lotto and I never win it. Oh well, you know we'll not <laughs> start there. We're not starting that again. <laughs> oh, why not? Okay. Come on, but, uh, where's okay. the shenanigans? Uh, the shenanigans are always there, mate. I actually uh, really enjoyed it so much. Uh, I actually still love pulling the Tazzy maneuver. <laughs> 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 now, explain to the viewers what your Tazzy maneuver is, uh, Fox. If uh, Fox, if you know the definition of yoloing or Leroy Jenkins maneuver, that's exactly what we call uh, one of my friends uh, has done a great job of doing that. Um, and you know, we can't go wrong. I mean, like it's full laughs, and don't get me wrong, we love it. It's great. It's great. Okay, so definitely um, big shout out and thanks to the lovely uh, subscribes from Jebedin and Patek. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, love your work, mate. And also um, everyone else as well, too. Um, anyway, uh, let's just wait and see what is going to happen next in a few moments here because they're trying to finalize the team um, in a second here. So a quick uh, five minute stretch is in order. Oh, I agree. Uh, I need then, a five-minute stretch. And then if the match is about to start, we're about to get ready to get this kicked in and having fun anyway. So definitely um, big uh, congratulations to Vorby and IT in the first match, but we'll soon see how they pan out into the next match really soon. So, yes. Has, I, has IT realized what the board's strategy is? Oh, that's a good question, mate. I mean, like, uh, let's just see in, like, uh, as we're going to talk about, like, in the terms of tournament. Uh, look, folks, I mean, like, there's a tournament as it is right now. So there's a lot of things happening uh, at this stage. Uh, the, 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 sco the scoreboard is actually looking pretty good with uh, Vor taking the lead at this moment right now at this stage in the tournament, alongside with many other clans, uh, which is actually very well played on all round for everyone having that and it looks like um we're gonna find out and soon see um who is gonna be the new victors of king of the sea for 2022 um with that being said though folks if you're interested in getting yourself a, a king of the sea t-shirt 
I will say this very openly. The King of CT shirt is very nice. It looks very good. I mean, like, look, I bought myself one. It is very nice. Thanks, World of Warships. Thanks, Wargaming. I love the t-shirt. It is very good material, mind you, by the way. Um, and it is well worth it overall. I mean, like, it's something... If you're looking for something to wear to support the franchise, to support something that you love and enjoy, go for it, because it is well worth it. Um, and, yeah, I definitely won't say no to that. Look at that. It's actually pretty cool. I love it. And, and all I can say, Wargaming, is, where's mine? <laughs> all right we better take this five minute break mate because it doesn't look like it'll be long before they're ready to go well it looks like in two minutes by the way we're talking right now anyway so let's do it real quick have a quick stretch and uh, yep. keep an eye on it but we'll be with you sure and so shortly folks hashtag cots for both channels get in the giveaways for both the 1060 as well as my own we'll be right back with you soon yep see ya jump in guys folks we are getting ourselves ready the match is about to start between boar and it they're about to kick in right now um in less than t minus 60 seconds so literally we are ready to go all right and here we go action stations ladies and gentlemen boar versus it round two okay so <laughs> who's gonna win well we'll Let's just say, make sure your aim is true. Well, this is true. I mean, like, uh, and I will say this very openly, folks, that uh, it'll be interesting to see how this match pans out for tonight. Definitely for sure. Yes. Okay, so let's kick it off. So we got a bit of an interesting lineup here uh, between um, the Kremlin. Oh, two Kremlins on both sides. Okay, so we got some Vincents on both sides. Okay, okay. Kravort's going with two Demois, and there's one Demoy on IT Napoli, Moscow, Stalingrad, Giri, Clever, Shirtmakazi, Marcelo, Grand Napoli, Giri. Yang. Ian, I don't know about you, but this could be a tight match. They are very well evenly matched. Yeah. Um, maybe IT uh, took a page out of um, Vore's book. Maybe. I mean, like, anything could happen with this going on, mate. So that's also pretty good. What the hell is going on? Okay. So let me just have a look and see. This is interesting. Uh, Vore is actually moving the position over at Charlie and Delta. 
However, there is a very strong push right now. The Yu Yang and Yumasale and St. Vincent are pushing very hard towards Alpha. So it could be any, it could go either way at this stage. Yes, it certainly could. Again, the, the, the first five minutes of the game is really just um, strategically placing your ships and detection. Find out where the opponent ships are. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, IT that, um, that they're just spreading. Again, we see that separation of the of war's team mm -hmm. um and I, I think anybody that goes up against war needs to be aware of that yeah um it's proved to be a very very popular strategy exactly but look at this there's cross talking going on on both sides right now which is interesting to see how this pans out. Um, nothing's going to happen on either side right now this moment. But I can see something might happen soon on either side. So this is close. Um, given the fact, two things here. Having a close matchup with both sides and looking at how this can pay, play, pay out, plan out uh, for both sides, um, it could go either way. Yes. Um, looks like my internet provider's decided to do some maintenance. Oh. Yeah, everything slowed down a bit. Uh, that's all right, you're fine. I can still see you live. That's the main thing. Um, oh, well, well, notification would be nice, you know. Ah, uh, yeah, well, the shenanigans <laughs> will be real when it comes to inter providers. Will not let us know. Anyway, getting back <laughs> into the battle of the side uh, in, in uh, hand here, the Des Moines over at IT team has actually snuggled up closely towards DCAP, but they're using the arms there as a shield. Very well played for tactical reasons. The gearing has moved into position with, alongside with the St. Vincent shortly followed by behind it. However, on the other side right now, there's a whole bunch of torpedoes crossing over towards the Yu Yang and also the Gaon Lear. Both teams are aware of each other's presence and they gain a feel for what they're doing. So right now, the Marseille is actually engaging the Napoli at long range, bow tanking in at this point in time and actually slowly moving back. That is very well played at this stage. Now, here, now, uh, it's actually pretty interesting, though. Go ahead, Ian. Yeah, in the, oh, excuse me, at the sea cap, we've got the Calbear coming in, like you were saying, and mm -hmm. the gearing. Well, actually, what is the gearing? I'm trying to figure out what the, the gearing is going to do. If he's going to try and sneak, ah, oh, yes, he's going to sneak in and grab the D cap mm -hmm. behind his torp uh, protection. Yeah. Now, the Calbear. Well, that could sneak into the sea cap if he wanted to. Mm -hmm. But he's elected to... Uh, oh, he's going to... Yeah, let's see what he's going to do. Yeah, now he's decided he's going to go in and get and grab the, uh, the sea cap as well. Mm -hmm. So that, that'll give them yeah, two, two out of four caps. So the mosque just went down mm -hmm. for IT. Um, Stalley's sitting back. Calvert, he's going to pull up behind the island. Now, he's going to have to watch it here because there's the Kremlin that's coming across as well as the Des Moines, which is just sitting behind that island nicely. Um, but looking at the map, there is nothing that can really shoot at the uh Calbert if there's one uses his uh radar um possibly the napoli but i don't think so so the Calbert is pretty safe 
So that's another cap that they've got. Yeah. And I, I, I now reckon the Calbear will bug out the same way as he came in mm -hmm. and possibly shoot over to the D cap, maybe. Mm -hmm. You've got the gearing that's pushing in there. Yep. But look at so, that. I mean, like, Boar is actually really, really pushing hard there. It's like, go, Boar, go. I mean, like, literally, go, 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 go. I mean, like, it's, let's just see what they happen here. Look at this. They really are pushing hard over the one, two line right now. And they're literally flanking towards Bravo with a very ambitious pincer movement with the Yu Yang supported by the Galileo, Marcelo, and St. Vincent. And they're focusing fire on that Shimakaze right now. I mean, like, they're literally hammering it. And um, it's actually, it could go either way right now. Well, it, it could. Uh, it's still only close. You've got, uh, what, 372 to 304 points. That is very true. So, time-wise, uh, for war, um, well, for IT, I should say, is, is around 12 minutes. So, it's, it is. It's still anybody's game. That's right. I mean, like, at this moment, I mean, like, Boar is playing this very, very conservatively at this point. But at the same time, they have decided to push hard right now on this corner over here. So, yeah. It's uh, very interesting to see how things pan out in this match. Yes. But yeah, it's definitely um, very interesting to see how this goes. But interestingly enough, that um, over there, I can see that the uh, boar is like. Taking the lead in points now, but hang on, I'm looking at this is uh, very carefully with the gameplay with the Yu Yang over here, but it's kind of away over Bravo, so it's good to see that they taken Bravo cap, but the Moskva is gone down on IT at the moment. Hmm, I wonder what's going to happen here next. It it is an interesting play by both sides. Um. It's actually hard to call. Yeah. Because they're, they're, they're both pretty much decided, right, we're just going to Leroy. They're just charging. Mm-hmm. Well, you see, like, um, in all seriousness, though, I'm looking at this match in a bit of a grain of salt on two sides here. Boar is literally saying like, right, I need to establish some ground here. Alpha Bravo, done. Now, they basically see Charlie has been taken, but they're really not really contesting it at the moment. They actually got themselves positioned near it, but they're playing it conservatively. But at the same time, Delta Cap has been contested with the gearings facing off each other. So, you know, this is actually not bad to see how this pans out for both sides. It, it, it's going to be a struggle with the DDs. Yeah. You know, there's... Look at all that radar. It's just yeah, everywhere. It's, it's phenomenal. Look at that uh, radar. It's overlapping each other. They've got a cro great crossover, cross-firing. So Vincent's actually getting cross-fired by the Kremlin and the Clever at the moment. Um, I don't think the uh, St. Vincent's going to survive. Well, hang on. Convince. Kremlin's focusing on the... Marsley? No. Galileo. Huh, interesting yeah, well, tactic. The um the gearing has taken a bit of a hamming, hammering. Yeah, okay. And he's turning the wrong way because it may look he might wear some torps. Yeah, it looks like a very close uh, torp run here. Ah, uh, he's gonna wear one. Oh no, he oh, literally my says, God, this, that was unbelievable. He I he literally wish I had just, a, Yeah. I but, wish I had zoomed in that because that would have been so close by the skin of his teeth, I reckon. <laughs> I was actually uh, just in the nick of time to be able to see that. That was actually very well played by the gearing on the IT team for the, the, the basic maneuvers. Um, that's actually very well played. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Well, 
Wow, that's Vor a, awesome Vor have taken a, 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 a very strategic positioning right across the map. IT is regrouping. I'm just trying to uh, understand what they where the where they're regrouping to. They look like they're regrouping solidly over focusing on D and C. Okay, I can see that happening. Um, but at the same time, that the surveillance is actually kiting at this point in time over at D flank, um, literally way out of the 910 line. The Napoli is a distraction of from Vor to the enemy t to the other side for IT. And I think this is where the flanking maneuver is going to kick it. Oh, St. Vincent just Ooh. died. The gearing uh, just died. No. The gearing just died. Yeah. Got taught by the gearing. So, gearing on gearing. Yeah. So, this is... It, it's a... T the timer is, is definitely not on, on IT side. But yeah, definitely. It's um, a different strategy by IT, actually. Yeah, I can see there's a lot of cross torpedo action going on here, but definitely for sure, uh, it could go either way. Um, uh, like, like you're saying, that they're, they're all s concentrating around that that CD cap. Yeah. And I see that lights overlaying uh, effect of the radar. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> yes. But it, the it, Kremlin it. is getting smashed by the Des Moines. And also the Marseillais. Oh, oh. oh the gearing is... Oh, mate, the, the gearing Kremlin. Yeah, then it might be the gearing will go before the... Oh, yeah. not the oh, Kremlin? The Kremlin's wow. gone. The Kremlin's gone down. Yep. the Kremlin action right there. Uh, what a sniping maneuver right there from Vore to take out IT's Kremlin. Um, Napoli for Vore has actually done a great job distracting the St. Vincent and the Des Moines. Um, yes. Interestingly enough, I mean, like the Des Moines on Vore has stayed at the north, the south side. Sorry, was it north side? South side. I keep forgetting. Hang on, north side. North side. North there side. We go north side of the capital sea, uh, sea and literally just hanging back there yeah he's doing a wonderful job kiting the des moines and the st vincent's mm -hmm. they would probably oh, i don't know see that you've still got the des moines and the kremlin here yeah exactly uh, so it wouldn't be too hard really for to, to concentrate fire because mm, if that mm. Des Moines keeps coming out like the St. Vincent's getting crossfired now by the Des Moines and the Kremlin yes so he's got both AP and HE coming at him yep now if they start connecting like they are he's not going to last very long no so it it is interesting now because they've <laughs> They're, they've been focused. That now leads the Napoli to to turn around mm -hmm. and come back into the game. Yeah, exactly. Which he he's doing, and he's shooting at the. Um, so they're going to focus on the St. Vincent. So he's not in the best of um, positioning. He's way out of position, really. Yeah, exactly right. Uh, he's got no island coverage. Yeah. Um, oh, Stalingrad just went down. Yeah, I just noticed that. That's actually a very interesting and gameplay right the there. Calbert. Yeah. So, IT are in big trouble. Yeah, I'm just wondering, like, Vore, when they played it out at the beginning, I just think that Vore played it conservatively just to see what IT was planning to do and IT had the right idea but they just basically um I don't know what made them fell apart maybe because of the cross firing from Vore or the distracting of the Napoli over the 10 line or I, th I think it's a, a a bit of everything yeah because like you see like when there's a lot of things happening all at once and look 
I will say this. Vor aggressively, surprisingly attacked from A to B in a matter of minutes in the beginning of the match. And yeah. literally, they pushed hard and flanked on the uh, Napoli and the Shimakaze, forcing them to the count, forcing them to fall back. And it was actually very well played. It, it, it was. And, and now um, you've, you've got the Napoli who's come back into play, who was shooting at the Des, Des Moines. Yeah, yeah. So the other side of the map, it's still interesting to see what's going on over there. But the main fight is around the decap. Well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> wow. Wow. Holy moly. Um, that was um, a damn good match for Vor. It certainly was. Let's go to the dual camera. Yeah. One done. Well done. Well done to Vor and also um, to IT. Um, Great match all around. <laughs> wow. It was, a, it, it was a great match. Um, yeah. Again, what can you say about Vaughn? They just show their... What's the word I'm looking for? They show their uh, teamwork skills? Well, it's not just their teamwork skills. The, mm. the quickness that they can change and adapt to the situation when the other team might, might change mm. uh, tactics, their, their change of tactics is just so quick. Yeah, yeah. And that that, that just proves mm. um, how, how good uh, Vore is. Again, um, bad luck uh, IT. It, it was a really good game. It put up a really good fight. Yeah. yeah. And that was a sleeping giant again. Well, that's pretty much it, yeah. So we're going back to swapping over to the sleeping giant map, uh, map right now. So we're just uh, getting ourselves updated here. But uh, look, folks, I mean, like, that was a spectacular battle um, between both sides. I don't know about you folks, but I think that was actually a well worth it experience right there. <laughs> I really enjoyed it very much, but, uh, look folks, um, we're going to be taking a five minute break here. Um, we're about to see what is the next match that's happening now. Um, uh, momentarily, I will tell you very shortly that uh, it's going to be War versus, I think it might be BMR, but I have to be 100% sure. Leave it with us. We'll be with you in a moment. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, jump in the giveaway and then we'll take it from here. See you soon. Yep. See you soon, people. Jump, don't forget to jump in that giveaway.
Okay, folks, we're just waiting for BMR, um, the opposing team for war coming up in the next battle. They're in the middle of being held back uh, in a tiebreaker, I think. I'm um, just triple checking what's going on. But um, it looks like they're a little bit behind. That's okay. I mean, like, these things do happen. So uh, just, like, sit back, relax. In the meantime, folks, we're just waiting uh, for a few things to happen here. So just bear with us because, like, we're just trying to catch up and see where we're left off at the moment. So, so far, so good. Um, big aloha to my friend Grumpy Beard right there in chat. Good to see you, buddy. Um, it's good to see you, man. And, uh, yeah, hope you're, you're doing well. And everyone else who's just tuning in, uh, big aloha from all of us here. Hope you're doing well as well, too. It's great to see you. Hope you're doing a wonderful time for this weekend, folks. But, yeah, uh, we're just waiting for BMR uh, to join in at this stage. So we've got a giveaway going on at this moment, folks. Uh, hashtag COTS. Uh, but I'll draw out the next winner right now. The next winner is actually Ali. Ali, message me on Twitch. You will get your King of Sea container for you. All right, so next giveaway has started. Um, go ahead and uh, take it from there. And uh, we'll soon see. We'll start this the next giveaway. Okay. So, look, we're going to take five. It's going to take a little while. Please, be patient. Um, don't worry. But, uh, yeah, look. At the moment of the stage, um, yeah, the King of Sea prices are looking good. And it's actually going quite well here. Okay. Um... At this point in time in the battle, um, definitely we're just hanging in there and see how things pan out at this stage. And uh, pretty much like you definitely should go check out the Tikina C t-shirt. The prizes are pretty cool. So definitely have fun by getting yourself something cool for your merchandise. Um, if you're wondering what the King of C t-shirt looks like, uh, this is what the King of C t-shirt does look like, folks. Um, so... This is what it looks like um, in, the, in the flesh, so to speak. Um, there you go. That's the King of Sea t-shirt. Very nice, very comfy all around. It is actually very worth it. So definitely go check it out. Have fun. It's awesome. But yeah. All right, folks. We'll be with you shortly. The team hasn't arrived yet. So let's just stretch our legs. Take five, grab a drink, um, have some coffee. Um, Whatever suits your fancy, but definitely we'll be with you in a moment here.
Okay, folks, we are getting ourselves ready for war versus BMR. Um, they just came in and they're getting themselves ready. So just bear with us, please. So just give them a minute. Give me a moment, and uh, we just need to give them a moment here to put things together. That's uh, good to see everyone here. I hope you're doing well. But yeah, it's actually fun to see everything put, put together here. Um, thanks, uh, Ricochet Rebel. <laughs> but yeah, it's actually not bad at all. We're doing quite well. But yeah, it's all good though. And Lolly Manso, thank you so much as well too. But uh... But yeah, we're ready. Um, just going to put a team together here. So let's see what we got here going on. We're about to uh, kick off this battle in a second here. Um, we're literally moments away. Jump in. Uh, so good to hear. But yeah, definitely. Um, we're about to kick off uh, between War versus BMR. And uh, definitely, folks, uh, we're co casting with the 10060. Jump on in. Um, good luck, everybody. We're about to have fun. We'll see you soon. Here we go. In a moment here, but uh, the batch is about to start in less than 60 seconds. T minus 60 seconds. We're about to go here, but uh, we're about to get that going in a moment here. But yeah, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> But yes. <laughs> but we're actually um, just waiting for uh, waiting for this to happen. So we're actually uh, moments away uh, getting this battle kicked in. Um, they had a last second delay. So we're just making sure the Bravo team is all sorted. Um, but look. You know, we're going back to Sleeping Giant right now. Uh, Sleeping Giant is a very fun and engaging match right now. So there you go. But this is awesome though. All right, here we go. Good luck. We're about to kick off the match. Um, I think the match is about, hang on, sorry about that, the end, I think the match is about to start, uh, start, start off in a second here. I, yep. I think so. It's, it looks like they're about to, but look, you know, I think, uh, this is going to be a pretty good match, uh, between Vor versus BMR right now. Yeah, oh, here we go. We're alive and kicking. Yep. We are. We're off, folks. I mean, like, Vor versus BMR. Uh, let's see how they paint. Wow! Okay, I was not expecting this. <laughs> Were you in? Look, look at that. Well, co well, come on, what a lineup. Wow. Wow. The, uh, Vermont, Kremlin, two Moskvas, Petro, Stalingrad, Daring, Shimikaze, and Yu Yang come against the Montana, Kremlin, Des Moines, Moskva, Nevesky, Stalingrad, Geary, Namasa, and Yu Yang. Hmm. Both heavy forces. This could go either way. Yeah, now it's a map that uh, VOR know really well. So... Okay. Let's just see how this pan pans out for both sides, okay? Well, if you want to call out the uh, Vought lineup, then I'll have a look at um, 
BMR. Sure, sure. Okay, so let's just start off with uh, Vore. Okay, Vore's coming out swinging with the Masa Yu Yang with engine boost towards the Moy, Kremlin, and Moskva supporting right behind it towards Alpha Cap. Over towards the Brava and Charlie Cap, a very interesting tactic with the Stalingrad positioning stuff between the arms of Brava and Charlie, with the Gearing, Nevesky, and Montana falling ass over towards the C Cap. However, this is a very interesting counterattack being played by BMR. Ian, take it away, please. Right. Now, BMR has got the Vermont, haven't they? Yes, they so, do. We've got the Daring, and he's making a mad rush for the um, the Bravo cap. Mm -hmm. So, well, hold on, maybe not. It could be a, a, a strategic ploy. So, the, the, the rest of the ships, let's see. We've got the Yi Yang heading out to the Charlie cap. We've got the Mosfa. Well, both Moskvas are staying together and they're going wide. Now, I don't know why they would be going wide. I would have sent one closer in for mm -hmm. radar support. Mm -hmm. We've got the Stalingrad. He's pulling up at uh, G6 Island. So it looks like he's going to park up there and offer radar support to the BCAT. But he's already come on the fire. Yeah, that's true. Now, on the A side, we have the Shimakaze and the Vermont. Now, the Vermont's stationary at the moment until, I guess, they uh, give him a clear shot at something. Mm -hmm. So, the Shimakaze and the Petro, uh, the Petro is also going out wide. He's heading along the line between H and I line. Yeah. Um, and the Shimakaze... So BMR are not really pushing at this moment. Well, it's, that's right. Um, that's right. Yeah. They're taking a very um, passive stance, I'd say, at this stage until they know exactly where all of um, Vore are. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, there is actually a lot of things going on on both sides here at this point in time in this battle. I mean, like, let's just start off with the basics here. There's a lot of top action being thrown towards the Stalingrad right now at this moment for war. However, at the same time, I noticed that the gearing has actually smoked up and covering the Versky with a tactical retreat. Uh, it's over in the 910 line. However, the crossover radar support between wow okay there's a lot of crossover radar going on over the alpha cap and bravo but um look at the support they got here the Yi yang has actually uh, got radar and is actually moving away uh petro has got in range of the Yi yang at this point in time but the Yi yang has successfully moved away um hiding itself away from the petro and the shimikaze now look can see that there's some action going on mostly for refocusing from a to b and c now b and c is going to be where the action will be um let's just see how this plans out ian what do you think of your side over there what's going on uh i honestly don't know what bmr are doing yeah they're, they're shimikaze now like i said he's got a 5.6 K detection range. Right. Now he he would mind you he's got the uh, the Yi Yang the, the Des Moines that he's going up against. Mm -hmm. But he could still get within um, radar range and possibly torp the Des Moines because where he, well, it looks like he's going to head between the islands. Yeah, but I just nice there. But the Petra. Petro. Um, oh, the daring got absolutely hammered at BMR. Oh, ouch! Boy, it smashed that daring for six. <laughs> ouch! Yes. Um, wow, classic noun is showing. Yeah, oh, classic oh. noun. Right on the first bat, first blood to Vore yeah. right there. Holy dooly, mate! Holy okay. dooly. So Vore's showing their strategy as always 
Yes. Stick together and push and push hard. Focus fire. What what more can you say of it, about it? That's what will win you a game. Yeah. Work that. as a team and focus your fire. Look at that. They're focusing fire with the Demoy, Maso, Moskova literally hammering that um, Stalingrad. And the poor Stalingrad of BNR is literally getting burnt down. And the, the Stalingrad's forced oh. for to tactically retreat. Um, <laughs> I w oh, AP, I shells, I AP shells are coming. Oh, I, I wouldn't. Oh, oh, oh. I, 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 I wouldn't say tactically retreat, mate. He's just trying to save himself. Yeah, he's trying to There's save himself, but that Montana literally smashed at the side of that Stalingrad. <laughs> Yeah, th there's nothing tactical about it. He's just trying to get out of there. Yeah, look at that. Oh, um, that Stalingrad's ground's gone. Yeah, he he got burnt out. The Moskva people, uh, as an AP ship, mm -hmm. I don't really think it's that good, but as a HE ship, yeah, it is unbelievable. The amount of fires that you can just... You can just keep a, a battleship or a cruiser like that on fire the whole time and there's not a lot they can do just to try and get out of your your 22k range that's right that's it yeah so let's see it a cap okay this is interesting we've got the shimikaze hmm. for bmr he's firing torps on the kremlin and the yi yang now i'd say looking at that he's at max range yeah um looks like um the vor Nevesky might get talked here i'm looking well, at it very closely where's that over at uh charlie over at charlie i'm just looking at it closely but it looks like he's used the hydro he's timed it well look at that he's actually taken it easy and moved away from the torps and the torps just came short okay but, and there's all all that radar overhang so yeah you just don't want to get caught in that as a dd like the yi yang is now oh classic now is actually making a leroy jenkins attack on the kremlin oh my goodness <laughs> this is down the kremlin is literally <laughs> oh mate this is not really? oh! oh he's he got him with a heap of torps there but not enough damn what a shame what and, a shame and the um h&n block in the kremlin has run aground yep and look at that the, the... and he is getting focus fired on what a uh -huh. maneuver by classic now wow that is so really really you know you know really tactful <laughs> really strong uh, that took my breath away. This commentator is actually on his hands and knees, folks. Going like, wow, that is unreal. I'm standing well, here. Oh, holy crap. I, 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 I wouldn't get that low, but I'm on, definitely on the edge of my seat, mate. The, the, look at this crap. Is he burnt out? The, Ouch. The, the, there was no, oh, oh, so Marso. Oh, oh, what a shame. Mate. That Leroy Jenkins manoeuvre. Yeah. Even though he paid the ultimate price, he's only yeah, he's on a DD, oh, but he took out one of them. Oh, the um, Mavesky right now. One coming in, maybe two. Oh, that's, oh, wow! That is very right close. The, very close. Right at the, yeah, and right at the end of their range too. Yeah, that is just uh, bad luck. But you know, like I have to say, he made the right call for punching at that hill. <laughs> oh yeah. But, mate, uh, this battle is really... I don't know. I, I'm, I'm off my seat. Literally, I can see this happening. And, so, yeah, I don't know what to do. I mean, like, I, I, I'm on my seat going like, damn, dude. That's <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> so, where do you reckon the fight's going to take place? Because they're going to have to do something to counteract um, Boar's manoeuvres. A should be a bit of a more tactical maneuver. Well, oh, 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 look at these torps coming in on the Moskva. Oh, wow. This is unreal. For BMR. So, BMR's... he's going to wear one. Yep, he's taking one. And 
some HE shells. Oh, the, the other Mosp has just realized that he better um, Stalingrad get his... for Vores has been taken out by Vores, uh, so by uh, BMR's Moskva, so a lot of HE spamming. Um, yeah. This could oh, go either the way. Oh, the Petro's just gone. Yeah, yeah. BMR oh. just lost their Petro. Damn. Okay, did you catch that? No, that was uh, behind the scene action. Oh man, well, look at this action over here. It's like a lot of torp dodging here with the gearing and the Montana. I don't think the gear Montana might outreach those torps. He's this is hard. interesting. Oh, just interesting. made it. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, there's an interesting battle between two DDs over at Alpha. Yeah, the ship okay. The Shipazi and the Yi Yang. And you've got the Kremlin that will be coming down the uh, the one line. Uh, mm. Hopefully try and catch the Shima, Shimakazi unawares and get his secondaries on him. Well, that's really true. I mean, like, it uh, looks like the the cap is still there in play. But it looks like nah, the BMR DD has given up and decided to kite away. Yep, he's getting out of there because even though he's got more health than the uh, Yu Yang, mm -hmm. Yu Yang's got better guns. That's right, and look at that, the Yu Yang's actually charging in and tried to engage the Shivakasi, but he smoked up and ran away. Uh, that's okay, <laughs> that's okay. I mean, like, look at this in the middle. The Vermont's getting focus fired by the two cruisers, the Des Moines and the Moskva, with AP oh. shells. And look at that, the Vermont's <laughs> is literally getting hammered all sides. AP and HE what? combo. And then you got the secondaries from the Des Moines coming into play as well. Oh, look at that. The mosque for, for um, wow, BMR AP just again. went down. Yeah, I just saw, saw, saw that on the screen. And there goes the uh, BMR's Vermont. So, again, yeah. um, that flanking maneuver on both flanks, send a couple of ships in, up the middle, has proven to be a... a, a a uh, top strategy yes. for um war well here's the thing i was blown away literally moments ago when that masa by classic now literally just charged at right at point blank range on that kremlin the kremlin fired yeah. his he shells and literally hammered him but he was right in the right angle to survive against that from the kremlin Yes, and unfortunately, I don't think uh, BMR's Shimakaze is no threat to anything. The Yi Yang is. Oh, hold on! The, the Shimakaze has got the Yi Yang down to three thousand health. Yep, and look at the Torf going in. There's a uh, Vores uh, Montana, three Torfs, maybe four, and looks like um, the Montana for Vore might have gone down. But well, look, no, no. Uh, there we go all all over four has uh beaten bmr and taken the lead of this match what on, a battle on a, on a map that they only know too well man i i i um you know what i mean like i am literally wow <laughs> <laughs> that was on this that was on sleeping giants wasn't it yes it was yes so there you go a map that vor knows only too well and they play it extremely well as well mm. so mm. yeah you know, what can, what can you say um it was like okay so the rule of thumb that i can say is that Vor made a fantastic good call out all around and they've done a great job with their call outs and everything oh Later. they certainly did and and yeah. like i said earlier on all credit goes to to the caller yeah yeah he that they and it doesn't matter whether it's for bmr or for for Vor. the amount of stress that they must be under to to be able to di diversify um, their strategy and mm -hmm. counteract anything that the opposing team throws at them. Well, that's right. Now, what can you say? It's yeah. I mean, like when I first saw uh, the aggressive push that they did halfway through the match towards 
from Charlie, Charlie. not Charlie, from Bra Alpha to Bravo with the Musso, and then literally the Musso literally went right in towards the Kremlin. That was a very nice tactical maneuver um, with everyone focusing fire on it. Yes, yes. Uh, Devin Pathkey, if you're in channel, mate, speak up now. You've won the uh, giveaway for a code. Yeah. But, yeah, folks, I mean, don't forget to jump in the giveaway. Hashtag COTS for everybody on all servers. Um, this is not just Asia server. This is for all servers for the King of the Sea codes. So definitely jump in. Make sure you're in it to win it, okay? Um, but, yeah, look, you, all you need to do is be following the channel for both for the 1060 and myself. Um, but, yeah, look, you know, your support is muchly appreciated. We love you all for what you've been doing. So thank you so much. But, and, uh, and, keep, and keep up the good work. Yes, definitely. definitely. Oh, not you, Raven. The viewers. <laughs> oh, okay. That's cool. <laughs> oh, mate. Oh. Oh. Okay, looks like there's another one that's um, pooping. Oh, well, that's okay. But uh, look, you know, folks, I mean, like, uh, definitely we're actually having a lot of fun tonight. I'm sure you all are as well too. I mean, it's great to see you all. Hope you're having fun, and it's great to be here. Okay, folks. I mean, like, uh, we'll double check and see everything's going on, and take it from here. One sec. We'll be right with you. We'll be uh, taking a short minute break. Yes, Ian. What's up? Uh, we're about to start here in a second I think I'm not 100% sure um, but you know the team's about to be assembled in a moment here but yeah folks I mean like on uh, the 1060 channel um, make sure you dare to win the giveaway be there please join in the giveaway go now join in the giveaway He's got well, not, codes. Not, 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 not just yet, because I haven't started another one. Well, start it, dang it, and then we'll be all oh. good. Okay. God, God dang it. I'll start it. There you go. <laughs> okay. But yeah, look, we're about to start it. I mean, hashtag COTS for the 1060's channel. Give them a shout out, mods. Um, please do so. Um, but yeah, folks, viewers, if you can quickly take five minutes, quickly jump on this channel, quickly drop on follow, and also uh, jump on the giveaway, the more chances to win it. You've got both wonderful streams, co in here. And again, big shout out to uh, the 1060 as well. And oh. a big shout out to 
Admiral Revan. Well, 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 that's all good, mate. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very humble about this opportunity, but yeah, look, folks, I mean, like, um, we are pretty much ready to go. Uh, we got the next match coming up here for round two for um, King of the Sea uh, at this point in time uh, and uh, for BMR and Vor. So stand, stand by, we're about to go. Yeah. In 20 or more. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to take a quick five minute break, Raven. Oh, no, here we go. We are live. The, the five minute was a five second. <laughs> uh, no, I think more like a five millisecond. Oh wow, that that, that was that was good, mate. That was good. What a lineup. That is a lineup that I haven't seen in a while, but look at that. So Vincent, Christopher Colombo, Minotaur, Masle, Moskva, Petro, Stalingrad, Ragnar, Yu Yang. And an interesting counterattack maneuver going on here between the St. Vincent, um, Kremlin, three Des Moines, Masle, Napoli, and Karl Broska, and, uh, wait a minute, Yu Yang. Okay, hold on. Vor, you, you got me on my seat again, on my edge of my seat again. What? Ross. What are they doing with three? D That's a lot of radar. That's a. Uh, uh, I I have a feeling that uh, Vor is going to smash this joint. It's, uh, that's what's going to happen. Um, but BMR has got a very interesting lineup of their own. So, look, three radar, three radar. Yes, yeah. Now Moskva, Petro, and Stalingrad against three Des Moines. Actually, four radar if you count the Regna. Uh, yes, true. And maybe the Minotaur. Uh, well, yeah, the Minotaur. Five. Yeah, so you could be looking at a potential five radars. Let's just see how this plan plays out. You know, like both teams have actually gone out swinging with a bit of an interesting tactical maneuver for the Yang Masley and also the St. Benson Des Moines. Um, actually pushing hard over towards the A cap right now. And we got the Des Moines. Abros, Napoli, Des Moines again, and Cameron. Hmm, going to put Charlie and D. But I've noticed a, a lot of the teams have gone with the Yi Yang. Well, that's right. Um, I think that's the first uh, Kabarovsky we've seen tonight. Yes, yes. We've seen a few Ragnars. Yes, yes. Um, Starlis, Petros, Moskva. Yep. I think that's the first Minotaur tonight. Yeah, yeah. Um, but everything else... Oh, oh and it's the first uh, Colombo battleship we've seen. Oh, but really? Most of the other ships are pretty much um, all hard-hitting. Hard-hitting, radar. Oh. So, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, hmm. So, so, what's happening... And we both know that, okay, both A and B are being capped by both teams now. <laughs> which is pretty standard because those caps are, are the closest and just so far out there. Yeah, true that. But it's interesting to see what's going to be happening here next, though. Um, I'm wondering... Hang what? on. This is a very strange attack. War have got... Four spread too thin. Yeah, and let, you you look at BMR, they've got the bulk of their force over at Bravo. Okay, Bravo in Alpha are going to be a bit of a stalemate. Oh, I don't think so. I, I, I'm I saying... Oh, St. Vincent has got hammered here. Okay, your... this is interesting. With the ships that they've got that um, that are at B, mm. they're just going to get hammered. Oh man, this is just unreal, man. I mean, like I never have never had seen like a, a, a very strong push 
from BMR like this before. This could go either way, man. I mean, like, I can see two things happening on both sides. Look at A. Look at D and uh, D and C. There's virtually nothing there. If Vore were to make the push right here, right now, they would actually be able to regroup and help out A. Yeah, it's um, it, the battle is definitely going to be at, at this stage over towards A and B. Look at this. Okay, Minotaur, we were right. It's another radar right there for the Minotaur. So we were yes, correct. Yeah. Like okay, so there's a Petro, uh, Ragnar. Mate, okay, look, 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 if I had the ability to pause for a second, I can say this very much. There's a lot of radars over at A and B. There's no way that they can be able to contest against that over an A with uh, right now unless Vore plays it smart to keep kiting and keep them at bay. So I can see that there's a possibility at this moment. But these torps are going towards St. Vincent. Um, he might wear it too. Now, look at what's happening over at Ooh, he did uh, too. C, and, C and D, mate. It's yeah. interesting. You've got the Colombo and the Stalingrad that are kiting away yes that's right um oh wow this is a bold move what's the, that um marcelli he's uh getting focus fired on here yes uh by the napoli the kabarovsky and probably a des moines well the napoli the napoli Kabros and the des moines uh and also maybe the kremlin supporting as well has actually literally hammered the, the marcelli but I think the Kremlin's going to change his focus fire on... Wow, he's focusing fire on a broadside attack on the Petra at extreme range. Uh, and uh, the Marcelli for uh, BMR just went down. Yeah, okay, that's fair enough. I mean, like, uh, wait a minute. No, Vore just oh. lost a bit Marcelli. Uh, Vore, sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 that's fine. That's fine. So... Once I get rid of... Oh, that there we go <clears throat> another ship down so now they're actually free to basically outflank hmm this radar is really acid right now for war i can i can see how bad i felt uh when i was getting focus fight on with you know radar can just <laughs> oh put one petro down okay Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Well, that, that's a good, you know, like, that's a good start. Um, so, so, having all that radar, if they use it right and, and and alternate when they use their radars... Yes. They just keep them radar, which is forcing them back. They've got no choice but to, to drop back now because of all that radar. Mm-hmm. Let's see. I think Vor is pl playing this uh, a bit more defensively now. They realize they're outnumbered over an A. They've got to conserve the health and actually regroup. Now, well, uh, they, they did the what I thought they would do over in D and C. They have pushed hard and regrouped. Look at this. Yes. A bit of a, look at this. There's a bit of a clockwork orange effect. <laughs> Funny I said that. Uh, clockwork. <laughs> uh, they, but they actually moved literally from C and D and ambushing the Stalingrad and the Christoph Colombo. Yeah. So this is interesting because now uh, Vor can, can can outflank them. Yeah. Well, that's it. I mean, like, look, they have lured the enemy away. The enemy, the BMR has actually literally pushed hard today. Now they were grouped up together but now they spread out look at that the minotaur is uh actually on its own but the seven since it's actually coming out towards it um but the ragnar and the yang and also the moskva are very very ambitiously luring themselves in out in the open towards the yu yang St. Vincent, the moise at um over right at the top of the map so that's yeah really yeah. telling us something there yeah and look at all that radar that's there okay now you look at the stalingrad the colombo and the minotaur mm -hmm. um 
I'm wondering if VOR are going to try and drag out or, or get rid of their Columbo first. Uh, okay. at, at the moment, I think the Carbros and the Des Moines are going to take out the uh, Stalingrad, which they have. So that's one radar less to deal with. So that's yeah. very good. Okay, so Vor has to now focus their fire on the Christoph Colombo and literally push in hard by a, ta a blank maneuver from the Christoph Colombo. The Christoph Colombo's reload timer is not that crash hot for its main guns. At the same time, though, the Kremlin on the C cap, I just noticed that, interestingly enough, if the Kremlin just keeps moving down south the way it is right now, he will be able to reunite and actually take the hits on the Christoph Colombo as it is. However, look at that over in uh, the top of the line. They lost a couple of ships. War has lost a sh couple of ships up here. Um, they, yes. They've done, yes. the, they done the job baiting the enemy at this point. So now, Vore have got to, you know, they've got to make the, a decision. Yes. Do they defend and try and just focus fire on their ships and, and take them out slowly and one at a time, mm -hmm. remembering that there's only possibly eight to ten minutes left in the game? Mm -hmm. Or they just turn around and say, no, nah, let's just Leroy it and still focus fire. I think if I was in their position is that I would use the DD to take a, a tactical capture on Bravo while distracting and luring the enemy let them know where my presence is made known. Whereas the Minotaur needs to be taken out very soon because like if you have the Des Moines where they're positioned right now, they are actually in a good position to actually hold the line against the DDs. Now if the DDs yeah. of the Ragnar and the Yu Yang the only problem with that is that um, the Ragnar doesn't have Torfs. The Ryu Yang has Torfs. But the thing is that they can't rely on the, the St. Vincent too much. They need to no. regroup and be closer. But look at this. The, you have but, literally the Kremlin and the Des Moines working close side by side. Yeah, but you got Classic Noun who plays his DD really well, uh, mm -hmm. Captain B. Yeah. So what do you think so, if he's going to go next, if he was in that situation there? Okay. Oh, well, there, wow. There goes, the, there goes the Minotaur. Minotaur so, was literally sniped out the water <laughs> and the bow. Literally, literally by the Kremlin, just yeah. pulverized him. Yeah. So ne now they've still got the the mosque for, that they've got to watch out for for the, the 12k radar yes um so yeah bm are, are in a good good pretty good strong position yeah even though they're, they're down a cap yeah um i don't i don't know that they're, they're focusing fire on that last mosque for. Mm -hmm. so I still think now that the the Des Moines for yes. um, VOR, yeah. even though he's lost, ooh, well, hold on. Mm -hmm. Is he going to wear a torps? Yeah. Maybe. No, I think he's safe there. Yeah, fair enough. So you've got the Des Moines sitting at the um, EF line. On, yeah. on five yeah he could probably i don't know they're in a in a good position he, he's able to focus on the mosque but, mm -hmm. but he has got the st vincent's coming around that's right which if Ooh. he's not careful he's going to get caught by yep and the uh the moy is actually literally getting smashed at the moment on the um yeah. vincent right now but um those shells they, they've, the... they've changed focus fire now onto the st vincent so he's yeah just about out of the, he is out of the game now yeah he's out of the game now looks the next uh next target i'm going to call it here is actually going to be the moscow is going to be Mon here yeah yes because that's their last radar ship Look at the long range radar the is actually taking one top off 
He's actually Ooh. going in against the uh, Yu Yang. Now, he's re healing, but the thing is, he's got a whole bunch of new torps coming over his way. Will he be able yes. to dodge those torpedoes? I don't think so. Uh, no, I don't think so either. But he made a good attempt, though, and it was actually a very, very good attempt. And find that, and look at that Yu Yang almost pretty much get, um, get detonated there. Um, right. So now you've you've gonna got this play going on the Ragnar by the Kabarovsky and the Napoli. Yeah. Um, and then that leaves uh, the Des Mo the two Des Moines to basically go after the the Yu Yang and the mm -hmm. Kremlin. Well, he's turning in to head towards the Ragnar. The Moy there goes still the, the Yu Yang. Yeah, just now, but the Des Moines. But uh, the Ragnar is the last man standing. But you know, Vor has uh, achieved the. A very, very tough match and very well played all round. And definitely, War has again uh, successfully uh, beaten through that match. Very well played, War. I, I am very, very um, surprised about how they played towards the end of that whole match. Um, oh yes, it it, it just goes yeah. to show that. Um... Vor again a stamping their their authority on the match. Yeah. You know, the, again, commiserations go out to BMR. Um, congratulations go out to to VOR. Now that was on the Sleeping Giant. So. Hmm. Yeah, and they've done a great job. You know, like that's very well played. I'm very proud to see very good close matches like this and. Um, again, definitely a big shout out to both teams. <laughs> definitely yes. a big shout out to yeah, both the, uh, teams like that. When, when, when you're up up against a, a tough team like Vore, it yeah. can rattle you sometimes. Yeah. Um, but... which c can then make force you to make small mistakes. Mm. So I'm just going to do my giveaway. All right, go for it, mate. But yeah, folks, I mean, jump in the giveaway. Um, hashtag POTS. Uh, three, two, one. I will draw out the next winner. Um, there we go. Vadrami. Uh, Fat Hank, um, you are one, the winner of the giveaway for the King of the Sea container. Jump in. Uh, let me know when you're ready. I think I uh, got a message me in game. Oh, sorry, a message me on the, the, the stream. But uh, yeah, good luck. And also, Dan Rousey. Dan Russell, um, are you in chat as well? I mean, like, uh, congratulations to both viewers. I hope you're uh, here. But, yeah, let me know. Let me know when you're here. But. Uh, We'll definitely um waiting for you for the next battle. Yeah, my, um yes they do. Alright. Ben Rezel, uh message me on Twitch. Okay, cool. While that's happening, we're going to take five, folks. Start a new giveaway. Hashtag COTS. Be right back.
Okay, viewers, we're back again, and um, we're in the middle uh, of oh, waiting excuse me. Okay, for... viewers, just... Believe it or not, we're actually waiting for um, the next team that Vor is going up against. Okay? So, at this point in time, um, we're just hanging in there in the meantime and just waiting to see what the next match is going to be like. But, if you are... Interested to know what the ship bands are like? Uh, well, this is what the ship bands are like at the moment, um, what they were talking about. But this is an example of what they do. But uh, there's a whole heap of uh, ships that they choose from, depending on the team uh, makeup is the same, uh, what they do. But they actually will just let us know what the band ships are going to be. But it could be a variety of anything they choose from. With that being said, folks, I mean, like, uh, this is the example of the prizes that, uh, that the people can win out of this in this tournament. It's very good, very juicy, and it's fun. Um, definitely the best thing I can tell you is that uh, at the grand finals of the King of the Sea, that you can win up to a lot of good rewards from World of Warships. And definitely that's a very, very good, you know, choice of there uh, with 17,500. For first place, ten thousand dollars. For second place, seventy five hundred. For third place, fourth place is five k, and twenty five hundred is actually for uh, fifty eight places. And look, you know, again, once again, folks, a big shout out to all the players who are participating in King of the Sea for twenty twenty two. Big thanks to everyone out there, and it's uh, muchly appreciated for what you've been doing. It is, this is a great tournament, my friends. I'm sure you're loving it. Um, again, big shout out to Wargaming, the people who put this together from the COTS team, uh, for the King UC team, as well as, you know, the broadcasters who are streaming it, and as well as, you know, the, you, the audience out there. I mean, like, if, if it weren't for you, you know, uh, all I can say is that we love you for what you've been doing. So, you know, keep being awesome. <laughs> so that's the main thing. Look, in all seriousness, though, I mean, like, uh, hashtag COTS uh, for the giveaway, and definitely have fun, all right? So, go ahead and jump in. <laughs> uh, greedy Corin, uh, for Shino says, hey, mate, welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> uh, it's good to see you, good to have you. All right, folks, for those who have been following the channel and joining the giveaway, having fun and everything like that, I welcome you. Thank you so much. And it's great to have you on board. Thank you for your support and everything so far. All right. So we're just going to take five and wait for our teammates to show up for BMR. But uh, yeah, we definitely will explain the next round shortly.
Okay, folks, the team is coming on board right now. And it is the team called Rise. Um, but we're waiting for them to put together here. So we'll see and see how this goes for a team called Rise. I'm just triple checking and see what's happening here. So team called Rise. So jump in the giveaway, folks. Um, we'll get the giveaway done. Um, uh, so this simulate, um, I believe you just won. So congratulations. Message me on Twitch and then we'll get you sorted shortly. Awesome. Okay, so we'll get you all sorted out here. Uh, the next giveaway is now started. So let's go ahead and start it. And good luck. Let's go. New giveaway is started. Let's go. But yeah. Hashtag cots. You want to jump in there. But yeah, definitely. We're here to have fun. Right, back screen. And uh... uh... Ian, actually, don't just yet. I actually would like to share this uh, conversation with you. So the team, we're uh, actually... Hold on. Do you want it to go through on channel? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, the life. Okay. Let's, let's, uh, the next it. team actually is Rise. We just found out it's Rise. The clan called Rise. Rise? Yes. R I S E. Yeah. Rise, like Ben, Rise. <laughs> so, can Rise rise to the occasion? Hey, and anything's possible. And show VOR that they're not. King of the Seas, after all, they can be beaten. Well, I, I don't know for sure, because like I'm actually looking at the tournament uh, latest uh, statistics, and just by looking at it, hmm, wow. Come on, let's see. I got to remember how to call the stats up. Uh, go to Tony Ad, the one I showed you. Um, but look, in, in this one at the moment, the 20 ad, uh, it looks like a possibility. Rise just beat uh, IT. Wow. Yeah. Hey folks, I'm going to ask you a question. Rise of War. Tell us in chat. Rise of War. If you are going to take your bets on it, Rise of War. Go. Here but, you go. Rise of War. Yeah. Rise of War. Rise oh, well, of War. Take your bets, no, folks. Take no, your bets. No. I'm going to say it's going to go to a draw. Well, yeah. <laughs> anything can happen, mate. Yeah, we haven't seen one yet. There hasn't been a draw yet tonight. Well, this is true. And you're right about that because um, draws uh, in matches like this are considered the word rare. Okay. There looks like they've assembled their teams. Nine apiece. All right. So we've got the teams coming Four. up to the bay here. So we've got the map called Sleeping Giants, um, which is about to start in a second here. But um, and yeah, again, it's a map that uh, Vor know extremely well how to u utilize the islands, the open water. Mm -hmm. So Rise are going to really have to um, step up to the plate. Mm -hmm. and uh, see if they can um, counter-attack uh, War's um, onslaught. Well, okay. So War has done fantastically in terms of their the calling and timing and also adapting to the situation pretty well in the last few hours uh, of this tournament. And we have seen evidently time and time again that War has actually... Um, 
learn from their mistakes. They actually learn to sacrifice some of their players just to, you know, lure them into uh, a bit of a, um, you know, if you will, lure the enemy's attention away from the actual what is supposed to be happening. And they have done it. The timing is impeccable. Uh, uh, the pick, I'm, I'm like, like, like you said before, Vore's hmm. good at defensive play attacking play and they're also extremely well at ambushing mm. and we've seen Vore do that quite a bit tonight that they, they ambush like you're saying they'll sacrifice a, a heavy cruiser go draw them back get them to chase it get them to come to us and that's what's been happening yeah, yeah. and it, I, see, I see my viewers uh, thinking we said rice <laughs> i love rice but come on <laughs> God. It's great food, trust me, but rise. <laughs> rise. They will rise to the occasion. Yeah, exactly. I I, I have to say that that, 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 crack, that cracked me up. <laughs> yeah, but then again, Raven, it doesn't take much to crack you up, buddy. Oh, look, life is too short, mate. And, you know, as, as you and I have both said it many times, mate, is that, you know, like, we're here to enjoy ourselves. And that's what we should be doing, right, folks? Yeah. I mean, like, it's just like, you know, um, you know, look, you know, literally Christmas is just around the corner now. And uh, we've been through one hell of a year. So let's just um, enjoy it while we can. And definitely for sure. But look, folks, I mean, if you're first time tuning into our channel's uh, definitely ju jump into our giveaways. Hashtag COTS for both the 1060 channel as well as myself. Good luck. Have fun. Chill out. Enjoy the stream. It looks like we're here to have fun and we bring the entertainment to you. So, you viewers, you rock. You're awesome. Stay tuned because like we're about to start this battle real soon. I think uh, and, and, the battle's about to and, kick and, in there. And, and sit back and watch the 1060 make a lot of mistakes. Then you can laugh at him. I love being laughed at. Yeah, yeah. Laughter's, laughter is good medicine. If I can make someone laugh a day, mm -hmm. it's been a good day. Yeah, no worries. So, so I have noticed, notified the uh, the people in the game we're ready to go when they are. So yeah. Uh, so we're about to start this off shortly. So we got Vore on Alpha Team, Rise on Bravo Team. Take your pick. Who's going to win? Um, rice. Now you got to be Charlie, thinking about having rice. Charlie team's going to win. Just to throw a spanner in the works. And like Raven said, guys, uh, the, uh, the giveaway, hashtag COTS, it's for all servers. It's no, no restriction. Mm -hmm. And when, if you do win, just send, yeah, put in chat here and then send a, a, a Twitch whisper so we can send you your uh, code. Yeah. If, if your codes aren't collected, they go to the, the 1060 Foundation. Okay, they're all there ready, so go, ready to go here. So we're about to kick our battle here. Streamers are ready. We're off. <laughs> and here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, the last group of battles for the night looks like it, I believe. Uh, but anyway, look. Um, Let's go what have fun. a lineup. Conqueror, St. Vincent's, Napoli, Naveski, two Starleys. Hearing and the bear. A, yeah, and a Marceau. Again. Well, look at the Vors team lineup again. It's like, like the Montana, Kremlin, Des Moines, Moskva, Naveski, Stalingrad, Gearing, Marceau, and Shimkasi. So, Ian, talk us about Rise's uh, setup there. That's actually a very interesting lineup. Yeah, they've got, um, uh, again, three DDs. We're seeing this time and time again tonight. Three DDs. So, obviously, it's the DDs that um, mm. both teams 
think are going to make that big difference but rise okay we have got the Marceau Calvert Stalingrad Vincent mm -hmm. heading out to the Alpha Cap we've then got the gearing Nevesky um, Stalingrad and the Conqueror uh, heading out possibly I'd say to the A cap and the Napoli not too sure he could be heading out towards the uh, the Alpha cap as well at this stage Fair enough. Yeah, I what? mean, like, we've got a bit of interesting lineup for War here. The tactical maneuver they've done the time and time again. This time around, engine boosts have been kicked off the bat for both the Shimakaze and the Marseille, pushing very quickly towards Alpha Cap, alongside with some backup with the Des Moines, Moskva, and Kremlin. Interesting combo. However, there's a bit of an even split here with the Stalingrad, Nevesky, Montana and Gearing pushing towards Alpha, Bravo and Charlie Cap. Both teams have done a bit of a rushing moment here. This is going to go either way uh, between, yeah. between both yeah. sides. It, it, it is. They've both got the same strategy, a split force. Mm. So, yeah, we, we've got the... Um, rise st vincent he's uh gonna head out wide yeah down the the h line uh same with the conqueror okay the noveski's popped his radar there's torps heading out now towards the the um boars gearing and noveski yeah that's right so uh, i don't think though what, gearing 16 and a half k torps mm -hmm. might might make it might might be in range no, I mean, uh, like, there's a bit of an exchange going on with uh, the Maso and the Shimkazi against the Maso and Claudette so this is going to be uh, an interesting gameplay for that side however there's some torps going over towards Charlie not much action is happening at the moment, but there's a lot of smoke and talking on both sides. So this could go either way between both teams here. Um, hmm, I'm just actually quickly looking back again. Yeah, there's a good play going on over at um, Alpha. Let's take a go over here and have a look at this bit of play going over here. You've got Vors Shimakaze, which is heading down the one line. Uh, you've now got the Kalber, which is going to um, put some pressure on Vor, and he's going to try and take the A cap. Yeah. Um, but you've also got the Des Moines moving a lot closer to the end of that map or, or that island. So that's going to put a lot of pressure on the um Calbert with with the des moines radar now the okay the des moines uh, the shimakazi has um mm -hmm. smoked up and there goes all that radar yeah exactly i'm just actually very very uh impressed with the uh, everything that's been going on here lots of radar crossovering for both teams and there's a lot of torp action going on here for both teams. But there's a lot of action going on here on both sides, no matter what we say. I mean, like, it's actually interesting. Like, look at this. The Shimakaze is actually hugging the corner. Wow! Oh, yeah. he, the Shimakaze for Vore just got hammered. Ouch. That, Ouch. That's the only problem with the Shimakaze. It, it's not a gunboat. It's a torpedo boat, but it's if it gets spotted by radar, you've mm. got to bug out of there real quick, or that's going to happen. Yeah, you're damn and, right about that, because like the, the Shimakaze is a good torp boat, um, but if you've been detected, oh damn, Maso is actually really fighting back here on the Napoli. Um, hmm. Yeah, and I don't think Vore can afford to lose um 
a DD at the moment because we've got uh, Rise have, have made a good play for the A cap. Yep, they have. So that looks like that may come down to to them. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mind you, the uh, Rise Napoli's taken a pounding as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and this is an interesting play by their their Rises. Marceau, mate, have a look at this. He's gone right through the island mm -hmm. and heading towards the B cap. Now, if they keep focusing on the, the Moskva and push him back, that's going to leave the Marceau to take the B cap for Rise as well. Hmm. I'm just like looking so, at the carefully here and trying to analyze the tactic here. Boar has realized they played too aggressively, but they're quickly regrouping, and it's nice to see that going on. Um, at the moment, it's a bit of an interesting story here with the Kleber of theirs is almost dead, and I wonder how they're playing it, playing this out now, because like they're actually kind of like fighting, retreating, fighting, retreating. You know, you notice that? Oh, the Kleber's almost dead here. Oh, the Des Moines for Boar may take a couple of torps. Oh, he Ooh, only just missed. Oh, damn. Ooh, I'm Nicole glad Bear's I spotted. Dead. Oh, it is too. So that's actually not bad. Boar has actually up, held the upper hand just by the skin of teeth. Uh, but yeah. uh, surviving those torps uh, just a moment there. Last to Jeopard there from Rise. Yeah, so again, it goes to show the the, the game style of Boar. They, they can push and then pull back, regroup, take up those defensive positions and push them away from the caps. Mm. Now, Rise have just scored the Bravo cap. And let's face it, Boar have got the uh, C cap well underway, but you've got the gearing from Rise is pushing in at yeah. uh, full speed under engine boost. Noveski's got his hydroacoustics going. Yeah. So, yes, it's um, interesting. Yeah, so at the moment, there's a little bit of a uh, stalemate happening over at Charlie. Charlie's been taken by Vore. Okay, fair enough. And there's not much happening over there because... Uh, there's a lot of talks going on from the gearing towards the Nevesky and the gearing of Vorting. But Rise has actually done this a little bit differently. I noticed that they have the Marseille moved over to B. And then basically they have the Stalingrad and the Napoli regrouping uh, together with the St. Vincent like lingering down the bottom here. But Vore has actually said, well, okay, we need to take the cap. But hey, but the Stalingrad must be taken out first. And as you know, in a normal game, the first ships that you really need to take out are the radar ships. Hmm. Once you've taken out your radar, the radar ships from the the opposing side, that then leaves your DDs. Oh, look at this! The the uh, Marso from Rises doing a YOLO move on the Moskva. Yeah, I noticed that, and it's actually looking and pretty good. And he's worn two Oh, torps. he's charging. He's going to... Oh, he's gone. Oh, what? Man, no. what a play. That was a very good play. Oh, that's a nice hit, too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it, it, it really was a nice hit. But he's done what he wanted to do. Yeah, he's taken out the radar ship, and you're right. Uh, now, yeah. here's, here's the thing. The Namoy is knows he's very vulnerable, and he's still focusing on the Napoli. I wonder if the, the, the other teammates are going like, right, okay. There is a uh, Marceau literally right and hiding behind the gap there. Um, and they literally detected still. And look at those shells. They got the UA the Marceau over the belt. Yeah, that Marceau is pretty much dead. Yeah. He's in range of the Des Moines' uh, radar. Those looking good. No, just missed him. 
No, just missed. Don't. But, but he's down Ooh. to 580 health. He must be thinking, I've got to get out of here. Yeah, but these shells are coming in all over the place, and literally the Masa is a fast ship. You have to really aim ahead of it. And the trouble <laughs> is, when you're playing a battleship, I know from experience, you got to like shoot at least two guns in front first and then shoot the rear afterwards, you know? But looking at all seriousness though, just by looking at it, the Kremlin on war team is take, take, taking a beating against the St. Vincent and Annapoli. But he's hanging in there quite well, actually. I'm very impressed. That, um, oh look, we've got the Shimakaze from uh, war coming through the islands to meet the Marceau. Now, even though the Marceau is only on 550, uh, 580 health, and the Shimakaze is on nearly five and a half thousand. Yeah. It all comes down to who gets to fire first. The Shimmer did, and voila, there goes the Marceau. Yeah. So yeah. that was a good um, pick up mm. by uh, Riser's caller and sent the Shimmer out there to take out that Marceau. Yeah, exactly. And then basically right now at this point in time in the gameplay, uh, it, it could go either way over in Charlie and Bravo Cap. There's a lot of radar overlapping going on, which is pretty good um, for Vor and also Rise. And they played it quite well and smart at Charlie at this stage. But look but at this A Cap. The A Cap? Oh, let's have a look over here. Oh, Classic oh. Now is making the move. Can you talk this guy? Can he get this guy? Oh, oh they... wow, okay. <laughs> well, got... that, that was a checkmate. <laughs> well, 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 I think his torps would have got him anyway, even if he had to turn. Yeah, true that. He still would have worn him, uh, torps either midships or um, towards the stern. And if he had have tried to ram the island to get him, he still would have taken torps. So mm. it was all over for, for him. Yeah, I mean, like, Rice has actually did a... Uh, I have to say, Rise actually put uh, Boar in place that we're really out to get you and really want to get this title and really pushing hard to, you know, get in there. Uh, they literally, you know, pushed them into the corner. I thought Rise was actually going to win this battle straight away. Well, at the start, yeah, I would have backed Rise to win it. But again, Boar have just showed their... Um their superiority, I suppose yeah, you could say, yeah, by, yeah. by buckling down, regrouping, using the islands for cover, hmm. and having a couple of ships out to pull in uh, Rise's ships, and that's just taken them out. Hmm. Hmm. So now that all the, the um, Rise ships from Alpha are gone, yeah, uh, they're just all coming over now to uh, to meet the last four surviving ships of rise so mm. it's going to be all over very quickly the Nevesky yeah. um it, it is looking low on health yeah you know, they're focusing on the Nevesky he's pretty much out of it this round there yep, he goes there you go Nevesky yep and a bit of Nevesky on Nevesky action yeah, um, it's actually pretty interesting to see like how both teams are playing this out at the moment at this stage. And in all seriousness though, I mean like I can see it now the Maso is going to do something like they did with the Kremlin. <laughs> Look at this, I wait for it. <laughs> I'm expecting this to happen, but I don't think he's going to get it done in time. He's actually got inch boost running. He's charging. He's got... He's got uh... Oh, Classic is, uh, he, he's gutsy in that Marseille. Oh, yeah. He, he look really that, look is. At he's actually right there, too. So, between the two of them, what, someone's yeah. going to get. But either way, um, that was a checkmate. Uh, big win for Vor right there. I mean, like, GG all round. I mean, like, uh, that is actually very well done, actually, for Vor. Um, yeah. Yes, uh, again, Vor proved too strong in, in, the, in their strategy, uh, which is a shame because it, mm. Rise really came out strong to yes. start with. Yeah, that's right. Um, 
it, it was a shame because it, it yeah you know, nothing against rise or war um but it would have been nice to see war actually have to really really work hard for their game yeah on that one yeah and, you know had, in, in all seriousness though they had the advantage right at the beginning but the thing is that uh, i think um there's a bit of a last minute like wait a minute all of a sudden panic bam wait <laughs> you know um you know like it, it's okay to panic I, I mean like these things do happen folks i mean like there's nothing wrong but uh look um rise did a great job to push vor into a corner and vor did a great job to remain calm and cool and reciprocated in the way that they felt best and exactly. was, they, they did a great job both teams did good well they did Roy's put up a really good fight mm -hmm. uh, against four um but again like i said earlier on all credit to um war's caller mm -hmm. um again well, they just yeah big big shout out to both calls on both sides i mean like both yes. the rise and as well as four i mean look in all seriousness though both of these clans are very strong in the asia server and they have a great reputation uh, for gameplay and everything i have seen both of these sides in action many many times and in random battles all ranked and i have to say you learn a lot from them you do you do especially in this king of the sea tournament um yes you definitely learn a lot from them as well exactly like i was going to say i compliment each one individually now the command the caller for rise he did a really good job to um respond to how uh vor started to to push you know even though he had lost a couple of ships by then it, um he still put up a really really good fight and the stress on these guys mate must be astronomical yeah, yeah I, absolutely but that all the callers tonight have all done extremely well they they they've got to, if they don't continue to the finals they can still be proud why because they've stepped up they've come forward they've they've uh made it into um king of the seas tournament yep and that's something I haven't done. I've never been in, in, in a tournament playing any of the games that I've played. So well done, guys. Doesn't yeah. matter whether or not you win or lose. Yeah. It's how you play the game. Exactly. And, you know, uh, to be honest and to be fair, um, the good thing is for everyone out there and the viewers out there in both our channels and communities is that the these replays will be made available for you to watch permanently on my on my youtube channel so that you can watch it and learn from it or enjoy cheering you on your friends about it uh, it'll be made available in a way so that people will um look back and say you know what that's actually great we learn from our experiences and we can do better for next season and things like that but at the end of the day it's all about having fun and you know what I'm really glad they are having a good time. Right. Or this season, in a way. But uh, we still got like tomorrow and then next weekend, and then we got the international finals at the end of this month. So it's actually pretty full on, just letting you know, uh, with everything yeah. going on. So, yeah, look, you know, it's going to be great. It's going to be great overall. Yes, it, it it's going to be an, an interesting day tomorrow as well. Mm -hmm. We'll both be streaming again or broadcasting King of the Seas tournament tomorrow. Yes. Um, around the same time, around um, uh, just if you click notifications, you'll get notified when, when we go live. By all means, come by again and have a bit of fun. Watch me make fun of Raven. He makes fun of me. And uh, <laughs> the shenanigans will be real. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, look, folks, we do stream on the Southeast Asia server as well as the NA and EU on the service we play uh, for World of Warships, and we are very proud to be part of the family. So it is good to be here. Um, big, 
you know, big vibes and, you know, best wishes to everyone out there as well. Uh, look, you know, a big shout out to KGB Terminator as well. Lovely artist as well and game player uh, for World of Warships and Sturgy Poo as well. Um, also, a big shout out to my mod team who has been helping me out tonight. Thank you so much as well. Yeah, thank as, you, mods. And also, um, big shout out to everybody out there. So just keep, um, look, you know, we are about to start maybe the last battle. If Rise draw makes does uh, you know make this draw to come to a draw, uh, then I think it's going to be another match. So let's just see if Rise can fight back and put um, an interesting a comeback, a bit of pressure on Vor. Let's just see. I mean, like, yeah. look, I love Vor for what they've been doing, the gameplays. I actually learnt a lot from them from watching tonight, and as well as you know, like for all of us who are watching this fantastic you know i don't know about you but i think you all have learned a lot from it tonight it's been great it's fantastic but yeah um just to recap the map is actually called sea of fortune now sea of fortune is actually a very fun map especially on the far depending where you are looking at the camera it's either left or right um with the two caps you know simultaneously above each other on the side but the most of the action is going to be focused in the middle as well as in the file, you know, um, corner of the map as well too. But hey, it's going to be interesting either way, right? So, going to be it cool. certainly will be. <laughs> but uh, we're just triple checking everything here. I'm just making sure that um, our teams are ready. Uh, we're just waiting for it now. Um... I think there's only one or two teams left over. But, uh... We'll about to find out in a second here. But look, folks, I mean, like, uh... Definitely good luck in there. Um... Definitely, I'll draw out the next person there. The giveaway, uh... It is 70. Congratulations, bud. Um... Message me on Twitch. And then... Good luck. Okay, hashtag COTS is the next giveaway. Okay, I'm Final still goodbye. waiting on uh, Jaguar 79. You got another 30 sec. Well, here we go. We're live. Yeah, indeed. Indeed, we are. Well, I know I'm alive. I'm breathing. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. That's cool. But yeah, it's all good. Here we go. Um. Let's see, see what's what's going to happen with this one. So, Ohio, St. Vincent, two, three Marcellese. Okay. Um, Napoli, Moskva, Daring, Kavler. Hmm. Wait a okay, minute. Okay, so. Hmm. Shikishima, Kremlin, Des Moines, Nevesky, Petro, Gearing, Kavler, two Marcellese. Ian. Yes. That is very interesting for Rice to come back swing with this. Oh, yes, they've brought out the big guns. Yeah. Um, let's just hope that uh, they can uh, put that pressure on um, Vore. They're not mucking, mucking, no, not mucking around. They're not mucking no, around. They are definitely not. This match and, could go either way. Okay, we've got the Vore. We've got the Geary, Nevesky, Shikishima uh, mm. heading out to the B cap. We've got the uh, Calbert under full steam, Marceau. Uh, both Marceaux are all under full steam, are all heading out to the Delta cap. Uh, the Petro is going wide at D. Uh, the Des Moines, I'm thinking he's going to probably go between the C and B and and D cap and park up there I'm saying and mm. the Kremlin he's just hanging back a little bit to wait to see what he can get a shot at yeah, uh, yeah. well honestly just by looking at this right now Vore has come out swinging 
with a bit of a, a strong move on D cap, but I'm just looking at loosely at A. It's understandable why they only have only a few ships over there, but they focus on mostly on Charlie and Delta. Remember that Sh Charlie and Delta are very, very busy, uh, they heavily focused in the middle because this is where the action's gonna be. There's radar action going on from the Rise team on the Moskva trying to detect the Des Moines, which he has. But at the same time, though, anything can happen on both sides right now at this moment. Yeah. 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 Keep going, mate. I've quickly got to do something. And no, that's fine, mate. That's fine. But anyway. Folks, I mean, like, this uh, battle could go either way. I mean, like, at the moment right now, Vor has actually, you know, got uh, secured A cap. Rise has secured Bravo cap. That's cool. Um, Charlie's actually been left out in the open at the moment, and uh, nothing's been made there. So, Vor is actually doing all right with two caps in play right now. So, they've got two caps in play. Anything can happen on both sides. Uh, at this moment, I'm just looking at it. I'm going like, oh, okay. So anything can happen in moving forward with this match. Well, looking o over at um, the B cap, they've been out already. Vor have been outflanked. Yeah. Um. You, you've got. Rise are really pushing on the on the B cap, so it is going to be really really interesting on this side. Um, yeah, Vor have only got the the Vesky and the gearing, so that leaves pretty much that cap open for uh rise mm -hmm. now the gearing is moving in for Ro uh war mm -hmm. trying to work out how Ro uh war's going to play this okay war knows that they can't afford to be too aggressive they know they know now that the rise is actually um, has proven and shown that they can play quite well aggressive against them. So let's just see how this pan out right now. There are two things to take in consideration here. The A cap at the moment is very much vulnerable right now at this stage uh, because, like, I can see that uh, the Claver is actually, um, you know, coming into play and against the gearing. But um, there's a lot of uh, action going on expected from the three triple Marsleys. Look, my attention has actually been focused on the triple Marsley action going on over the one line right now. Yeah, and... if, if, if they push down hmm. together with the support of the um, Calbert, it yeah. will put a lot of pressure because the, the Nevesky for uh, Vor is already backing out. He's kiting away, and so is the gearing. Yeah. Um. So, so the 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 idea of coming out with three heavy hitting uh, cruisers may have paid off for uh, Rise. Right. That's right. Exactly. Um. Now I don't know a lot about that. That, that particular ship, I do not have one in port. Um, but looking at this, what a combination. Yeah, exactly. And I'm just trying to understand that um, what they're playing here. So let me just have a look at it closely here. That over at Charlie Cap, uh, like, see, hang on, let me try, try this again. It's like over at Delta Cap over here where the, um, the, the Petro the Napoli and the Marseille. Not much happening, right? There's a bit of a stalemate because there's like only like one to one for Petro and the Napoli, okay? Yes, Te yeah. te Technically speaking, on one to one, conventionally speaking, the, the Napoli could outweigh the Petro. 
However, the Petro could outplay the Napoli if they played it correctly. But look, the Ohio is engaged in the... Oh, snap! The Kremlin from war just got absolutely smashed to smithereens by the Ohio. But oh. he, re he returned the favour. Here we go. <laughs> this the is Ohio interesting. Okay, let's have a close look at this bit of action here. All right, you've now got the Marceau, which Ooh. has just unloaded all his torps onto the Ohio, and there it goes. There it goes, but that was actually a desperate move from both teams, and that was very well played there. Uh, well, but well, well, it was, because when you look at it, Vore had the, the, the chance to lose two ships. Yes, that's right. A battleship and a DD against one a, a battleship for um, Rise. Right, so exactly. That was really, really risky. Oh, yeah, absolutely, mate. And I, I have to admit, just by looking at that, that sort of thing, it's really impressive. <laughs> like, the gameplay, they have timed it too. Like, look, for example, the Ohio literally smashed the Kremlin to, I think, about three setups. It must be three or four. But it was pretty evident that that hit really cru uh, crucified that poor Kremlin. But yes, he managed yeah. to hang in there just by a thread, just enough with, um, you know, uh, defensive gameplay. But they called in the Masai to aggressively push in. So Vincent's about to go down here from Rise, yeah, and yeah. looks like um, yeah. anything can happen here. So, again, even though you look at all of uh, Vore's team, they're all kiting away. Right, that's right. And... One of the biggest mistakes anybody can make is when you've got your whole team kiting away, is to charge at them. Yeah. Don't follow, because the moment you start to follow, you're mm. going to get focused on. And we're seeing that now on the Marcel. Yes. From uh, Rice, he's just getting focused on by uh, the Marceau, the Calbert. Mm -hmm. um, he's moved out of what range of. Or, hiding from the des moines but you've mm -hmm. still got the the Naveski to, that could possibly reach him so but here's the thing rise has taken three caps right now yes yes and, and the that... points are creeping back up Bor is actually um they're not exactly in trouble but the problem is though the points are going against them in their favor and with the quick you know, rapidly getting back into it, unless Vor can quickly regroup and score some serious big kills. Vor are going to have to push. I'm wondering what Vor, no, the Vor callout is going to be like. I think I can, I can see it right now that Vor is actually going like, okay, we got a bit of a problem here. We got the three musclies, you know, like are all spread out over an A cap, or we got, we got you know, force them back, or you know, kite them with a DD attack, and then have the DD and the sorry the Moy actually come in to focus on the Kaber or the Moskva but there's a lot of Torp action happening on both sides Hold on. Right now. Yeah yeah on the uh on oh, that Torps oh. <laughs> they ran out. <laughs> <laughs> Look, so that that uh Marcel from the um rise was safe. Oh, look at but, that. The Maso is actually pushing out the the daring and it's a bit of a daring move between both sides and the Maso as well as the Darien are going toe to toe with each other and it's like uh, come on Vor, come on Rise, let's see who's going to be the upper hand here I, I'm going to take a make a bold prediction here Yeah. I, I think Rise has taken it to Vor and it's going to push it into another game I think it's going to uh, take it to a draw Yeah. Right. I think it's going to take I, a draw here both sides just lost a DD. Yep, that's right. We'll trade off one to one. Yeah, DD for DD is fair enough. But at but, the moment, uh, the points are still accumulating pretty quickly for both sides. Now, I'm not sure if uh, the points will get there in time for um, Rise to catch up to Vor, but we'll soon see. They might lose a DD here for Vor. If yeah. Vor loses a DD, which it just did, thanks to the Master League kill right there, that that's proven that it's a... Oh, mate, this is like an absolutely uh, 
tight match for both sides now. It it, it is because like you're saying, Rise have got um, three of the caps. Boar's only got one. Rise have now snuck ahead on points. Yes. And they're way ahead on timing. So all Rise has to do is just play it smart hmm. and defend the three caps that they've got. Oh, and that's I also think... the Pabair on the Darren right on the six. Oh. Oh. Like, Damn. Oh, it, it's gone. Holy moly. Oh, they man. Don't... Trade off again. Yes, but it's a better trade off for Rise because they only lost to DD. Yeah, man, look at that. They've got Boar. the triple Marcellese in here, and they're like, the boy has to really regroup now. They they do. Um, Health-wise, uh, Vore's health is um, at 100... Combined health is mm. at 143,000. And yeah. Rise's at, at, is at a staggering 155,000. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So that can change with a couple of torpedoes. But Vore, like you're saying, Vore now really have to put and push hard. Yeah, they got to regroup and push, you know, push back, and they, it could go either way with everything that's happening right now. Uh, here's a, he, yeah, look at this sneaky play by the Petro. Yes. Going to come up and try, and, and he needs to stay dark. Don't fire, because he's just given his position away. Now the uh, Rise Mosva can counteract his manoeuvre and go just play mm. ring around the island. The trouble is right now that I can see is that um, the Fukushima is vulnerable right now to the Marcellese. Even though he has climbed himself away from it, he's uh, literally pretty vulnerable. Nice hits on both sides uh, on the Moskva, but the Moskva is uh, showing the upper hand right now. Yeah, uh, there goes the Vesky right now from Vor. So, uh, it, it, it's going to go right down to the wire. Yeah. This is... Man, I'm sitting on the edge of my seat. Yeah, same here. This, I mean, like, I'm actually... Is, um, um, you know, to be honest with you, Vor is actually... Um, scored another cap, which is good to see, but they are behind in points. Oh, they're, they're over 200 points behind so yeah, yeah it's a long way to catch up in this game yeah yeah exactly and um, I, I just i can i can see it i can feel it that this could be a draw in this match yes and yeah. then basically um uh, whoever wins the uh, next one will go into the oh, next oh there goes one of the marcells from uh, marcells got Rise. taken out there damn yeah by gearing torques yep yep so that has changed it quite mm. a bit. Yeah. It's unreal. This is going to go right down to the wire. You've yeah. got the Mosper who's, go who's going to try and come around and sneak up on the Shikishima. Yeah. Uh, which is not a good move. Even though the, the Shikishima is losing his health pretty quick. Yeah. Um, Shikishima is uh, pretty much very vulnerable right now. He's in a bad place. Yeah, he's actually uh, a bit of a hard on the rock place right now. Uh, Petro is like literally... Um, hmm. Petro is like... Yeah, he's not... I don't know. He's like literally in a tough spot. Well... Ooh. One more round from the Moskva and the Shikishima's history. Yeah, exactly. And I, I can see it. Uh, see, the Moskva is like shooting HE. Yeah. You know, uh, Torp's going to hit that Moskva, maybe. Let's have a close look at that. No, just missed it. Yeah. Oh, he backed up just in time. <laughs> and the Shikishima just went down to the Marseille. So, yep. it looks like uh, an interesting gameplay for both teams. It certainly does. It's uh, I definitely a, a match uh, that I was not expecting at all. 
And let's see. It's three apiece. Petropalo, Gearing, and a Calbear against mm. two Marcells and a Moskva. So the Moskva can now sneak around. Mm. Um, and probably use, I'd say, HE yeah. on the Petro. Yeah. But he's also broadside to the Moskva. So a good good round of um, HE. Could this be well, a round HP. between the Boar, Petro, and the best Masley from the other team at Rise? Yes, they're going to ran. No! Missed! Was that intentional? Well, play, he... Look at that, that, um... I was not expecting that at all. Any... Yeah, that Petro hardly took any damage. Yeah, that but... Is oh, life. look at that. That... Um... The Marseille is uh, literally getting... Smashing that um, Petro. Yeah, well, uh, that well, very, uh, that... well done. Yes, well done to, um... To, to rise very much a uh, big well done to rise for the comeback there that was actually a very very tough um gameplay right there from both teams i was not expecting that uh it's a bit of a comeback and it's actually good to see a comeback um yeah i'm you know what this is good this is good um speaking about good uh we'll do a giveaway while we're doing that uh, so three, yeah. two, one. Uh, WB for Appy three. You are the winner of the King of the Sea container. Message me on Twitch, and then we'll give you a card. Okay, so. All I'm right, next giveaway go. has started. Go ahead and jump in. It is now officially started. Let's go. Okay. We shall draw an entry. Oh, God damn it. I know this person's in channel. Come on. Speak up, Gilgami. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess only nine actually message in my chat. <laughs> <laughs> This for you, but um, he he said like he was trying to message yours, and it's like okay, all good, that's fine, we'll sort it, but it's okay, yeah. okay. But anyway, folks, uh, jumping to giveaway, uh, looks like there's a bit of a standoff, um, here, and uh, we're about to find out, uh, if it's actually gonna be a tiebreaker match, uh, just bear with us because we don't know what happens at a game like this right now, um. Because tiebreakers are fun. Don't get me wrong, they're fun. So bear with us one second and we'll let you know. Yes. I'm okay. gonna uh, I'm gonna take five gonna... and we're gonna stretch. Be right back. Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, I've gotta stretch, my legs getting cramps.
Okay, folks, we are triple checking if that was actually seriously the last match of the night. So bear with us. We're actually making sure and triple checking with the rib freeze and educants right now. So hang tight. Uh, give us a couple of minutes. We just want to make sure and be sure about this. Um, jump in the giveaway. Uh, we will do um, the one, the last giveaway for the night real soon here. Um, and then we'll let you know shortly. Same, same with you guys. Uh, my good. folks okay folks we just got advised that the the set was officially the best of two for the night uh, so they were doing two or two per match so a big shout out again to you know the one double six oh for co-streaming thanks for joining in tonight mate it's muchly appreciated um and also the mod team and everyone else for joining in tonight so before we do go off and uh, live for the night in a way because we'll be back tomorrow officially streaming king of the sea again um we're gonna do our final giveaway for the night and then send you off on a nice lovely raid um uh, so let me just uh do that right now get it something arranged for you uh bear with us one second and then we'll just uh get that giveaway done okay so the giveaway goes to last final call uh so we're going to type in the chat last final call for uh giveaway given patrick if you're in channel mate speak up so go ahead jump in jump in we're gonna give it a moment here uh, for you to get in the giveaway um so tomorrow i will be streaming king of the sea with the 1060 um so folks i mean like to give you enough idea what's happening with tomorrow um the tournament will be a little bit 
Um, I believe the tournament starts a little bit later. Okay, I'm I'm not quite sure on what time it. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, we will I'll, look, look. We look, will look, check. We will check. Look, folks. We will check when the the the, the King of the Sea starts for tomorrow. But look, you got my Discord. Exclamation mark Discord gives you my Discord information. Always welcome to jump in there because there's some free giveaways and things like that going on as well. Um, but folks, um, at the moment, yeah, look, definitely. When I go, when you know I go live, you know they'll be ready to go streaming King of the Sea for at least a few hours anyway, just like this. But hey, it's been a wonderful night. Uh, great time. Wow. You know, like all these matches tonight, the, uh, the one, it's been one hell of an experience. It, it, it has. I have thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. All right, folks, we'll go ahead. For those who are just tuning in for the first time, welcome aboard. I'm Admiral Revan, Australian Community Contributor for World of Warships on the Southeast Asia server, the, or Asia server, the best server there is in the World of Warships community. So definitely jump on in. But uh, look, I do stream as well um, on a regular basis. Um, I will be streaming more regularly on Monday as well as um, Thursday, Friday, and also... Uh, the weekends but with that being said i mean like uh, you, you can catch me anytime and the replays for the batches that you've seen tonight will be available on youtube sometime next week so definitely go check it out shortly and sometime in the near future all right so we're going to get ourselves ready to go uh, with this uh, final giveaway for tonight um let's do this real quick um ian um let's do that I've, I've, yeah I've, I've done my final giveaway all my codes are spent for okay. today. All right. So, no worries. I'm going to do mine real quick. So, three, two, one. Two, one. Um, Draw. Enterprise need refit. Refit. Retrofit. <laughs> enterprise needs a retrofit. Yeah, you're right. Definitely. You need a retrofit in the enterprise. Um, enterprise definitely messaged me on Twitch, mate. And then congratulations there um ian uh thanks for co-streaming today and uh we'll definitely we'll see you on uh, the next stream for tomorrow but uh yep. yeah enterprise uh, if you're in chat go ahead and message me mate uh but yeah um also um definitely uh warrell uh 14 uh you also have one as well too okay so folks we're gonna have to call it here um we're gonna get ourselves ready to go um uh, but uh look you know thanks everyone for tuning in tonight it's been great um uh, but definitely we'll see you all tomorrow um but uh yeah stay safe take care action stations and we will see you on the next stream for tomorrow night stay tuned yeah well the next so from so from him it's good night and from me it's good night Exactly. Good night from both of us, <laughs> in a way. <laughs> yeah. Action stations, my friends. Thank you. We'll catch us all tomorrow. Now.